All right, Ben Mang, today is Monday. It's August 29th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. It's Snake Draft Monday, as always. And we are joined by, I think, our most frequent guest, definitely one of our favorites. We are joined by Clem. Clem, welcome back. Great to have you, as always. It feels great to be back. I was hoping you would say favorite guest. I guess we're not at that level. Yeah, I'm going to try my hardest say to, to get number one on the list. Uh, but, yeah, I feel like I might be maybe the most frequent. Because I, I was in pretty early. You yeah. know what I mean? So I definitely got You're my favorite guest. Guys... I'll say it. You're my favorite. Oh, thanks, Chief. I know you got really mad at me because I said you looked like the WeWork guy. I you guys fucking hate cousins. that guy. I, hate I don't him. like him either. He's a bad cousin. There's such thing as bad cousins, right? I also feel like he just has like these like soft feminine facial features. I don't think that's me. Is that me? No, 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 no. But he, that's he's California cousin. I said that's the softness coming out in him. You're 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 in the Midwest. You can't survive in Chicago winters with those kind of coats. He can't even survive a day. In your I life. agree. In your I agree. Okay, <laughs> thank you. We're we're back on good terms. All right, good. Because I was fighting. I have White Sox fans that I'm trying to smooth things over. Kevin and White Sox Dave are fighting each other about the council curse and stuff like that. So I don't want to be fighting the Chicago guys. You guys are my my brothers. I fucking love you guys. Can you do me a favor, Clem? Kill Kevin. <laughs> Not quite that far. I mean, if you want to, I'm not going to be the one to ask. I don't want to be like a murder for hire guy, but <laughs> at this point, at least. But just tell him that I said he can go fuck himself. Mm. Okay, I'll let him know. We just finished our Mets podcast, and he said the only way the um, White Sox are ever going to win is if someone kills White Sox Dave. He's like, but I'm not telling them to kill him. So uh, you, if you want me to tell him to kill him, uh, I'll throw that on the list. We hey, speaking kill. of the Mets, Clem, you're getting um, – I would say your presence on Twitter is getting a little cocky. Oh, Kevin's uh, the cockiest cunt no, on him, earth. Him. I haven't noticed it as much as out of out of out of Clem, but KFC's the it, the Mets haven't won anything yet. They're having an insanely good year. All the good juju with Cohen and everything. Kevin should not be cocky about anything. We're not talking about Kevin right now. We're talking about Clem. Um, I have to be a little cocky because you have to understand that I'm dealing with Braves fans who are you know. Re- if you win the World Series, you can be cocky, but it's like they're just like an, an annoying cocky. Where it's like I almost like the Phillies fans who'd be like, I'm gonna fuck your mother, you'll fuck you. I like that kind of scumbag shit. So I kind of have to like raise my level up now. And the biggest Mets guy there is is the most negative person at the company, right? Yeah. So it's like I'm trying to like balance things out with Frank the Tank. Yep. I've removed him from Twitter, so I might seem a little more cocky now that you don't have the negative of Frank bringing everything down. Um, but Wait, did you point, block like, him? No, but he's no, making bets re- so he can't tweet. You can't okay, negative okay. about the I've Mets. seen that, yeah. I'm negative about that's what I thought. I'm well, like, I, I just at least want to acknowledge it, though, Clem. I think it's interesting. It's an evolution. This is what baseball teams do. I haven't even talked to Clem about this. It just over the weeks, just reading his tweets and like seeing him get into the Mets. So I'm like, man, Clem's really starting to like, this is what the Mets, now that the Mets are good and competitive and expectations are World Series, like as the season's ramping up, yeah, you well, can see friendly guy Clem get into the ring a little bit and start throwing his hat around, which I like to see very much. And trust me, I, I've been the the punchline for all these people who, you know, so it's like now that it's like, oh, now I'm the big guy on campus here. Now we'll see how it goes. But the inevitable thing is like, well, I can't wait for you guys to lose the World Series. It's like, all right, if that's the standard the Mets are now being held on, not winning the World Series, that's a win for me in the long run. And I do think it's just like it used to be where the, with the White Sox, where it's like we'd have the magical year and then the idiot ownership would fuck it up the next year. I feel like we are now at the point where we should be good pretty much every year as long you know as long as our uncle stevie mm-hmm. our savior is alive i would agree with that how old is he well like said. 60 i'd say around there yeah. Yeah, you got yeah but he'll live for like another 70 probably with how much money he has in the advances in medicine and by the grace of goddamn god yeah by the grace of god card <laughs> well it'll be interesting to follow as we get it's to the be stretch weird because i don't i don't want to see kevin win anything ever because he's a low-life fucking cunt but clem like i like clem I it's love tough. you guys. It's tough. And what do I do? I'll probably root for the hate. No offense, Clem. <laughs> That's fine. The content is going to be interesting because we're going to be doing a lot of streams. Frank's going to be there. So it's going to be like – so we just went through this. The streams for the October. It's going to be me, Kevin, our guy Phil and Kyle from the podcast will be there. But then it's Frank. It's Rico Bosco. It's Glenny Balls. It's Stu Finer. <laughs> These are all the Mets fans that are Clemmer. Clemmer is like a little can get crazy too. I've seen him. I said he's like, you know, when Roger Rabbit drinks liquor and he just like explodes, yeah. and becomes like a rocket ship. That's what Clemmer was like every time Tomas Nito was bunting. So I'm like, man, I, the stream. And then fans, like if we play, play the Phillies, we have to deal with Smitty, Roan, Fran, Kate, and all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, Portnoy is going to make his presence known at some point. The bigger the games are, I'm sure he'll oh, come yeah. down Clem, from I'm his pretty you know, sure, yeah. mansion. <laughs> 
It'll be a nice. Yeah, I think I think I'm going out there with Jake as well. I think that should be a nice. Oh, uh, I I one request. Since you guys in the Midwest, pick up Castellani because I need the good juju from him too. So bring him, <laughs> and we're just gonna have a. Like, we're gonna have to build like. A I mean, new White Sox Dave is White Sox like Dave people. is one thousand percent higher on that hierarchy before, but I'll I'll be out there. I might just do a pop in. Wait, but That's, he's not good juju the way that Castellani is. Yeah, I'm not bringing you guys good juju. I'm not stopping in Detroit and picking up Chris so that you guys can feel good about yourselves. I'd much well, rather have White Sox Dave out there rattling the fucking cage. Well, I, but I, I like the Mets because they used to be me. No, I'll bring Chris. Don't ah, worry about it. No, ah, I got, I'm going to pick Chris up. Don't worry. He's coming. I'm just going to do a pop in. I might just do, have to do a pop in this October out there. But don't tell Chris you're coming. And I won't tell anybody I'm coming. Just have Jake Arrieta show up at his door and just to see his like a like his, <laughs> oh, his reaction to melt. It. <laughs> oh, he said he bought yeah. another TV just to watch Jake starts back in 2015. So that's the kind of guy. And Chris was on the Mets bandwagon early. He texts me as soon as like Mark Canna gets. He's like, "What in that bat there, Clem?" I love. He's like part of the bandwagon. <laughs> we have him on the squad. So uh, I, I I love that Betty. I love that Chief. Out. I want the whole fucking crew. Let's get all barstool together and watch. God knows what's going to happen to our souls because I'm not used to playoff baseball. It's been a long time since I was really in the mix. Obviously, our the first ever electric chair was Connor Gillespie ripping our guts out. Yeah. So uh, sounds let's you, just sounds say the juju is not great. Yeah. Sounds well, great. God bless you, Clem. It's going to be fun. Um, for today, though, uh, Clem, can you tell me some of the best trilogies in history? Carl, open Wait. the room. Star Wars. I think Carl. Carl's a, Carl's a Star, Wars, Star Wars. That's guy. not a trilogy. Yeah, though. but it started. Well, as a trilogy. the original yeah, yeah. trilogy. We don't acknowledge the other two trilogies: the prequel trilogy and the hmm. sequel trilogy. What are you doing? Lord um, of the Rings. What is Eddie doing? The Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Back to the future. Even though the the last one in the Wild West. I uh, like the West. I kind of like that one yeah, too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's underrated. Like it. uh, uh, right over my shoulder here in the new setup. For everyone who notices. Die Hard. I only consider the first three the, to be canon, and I don't even really love the second one. First is the greatest movie ever. Mm -hmm. Third is the second one's on the plane, right? Yes. Yeah, it's in the airport. Yeah, that one, that one stinks. Throw oh. that one away. I actually liked oh as as much as it was completely Hollywoodified and everything. The Live Free or Die Hard was that it? That was the fourth one. Yeah, that's with Captain Timothy Oliphant was the bad yeah. guy and they had the fire sale. I actually liked that one, even though it just would never in a million years happen. Like the, the Die Hard 1, John McClane's like scrappy, fighting people, you know, fitting their shoes on, walking on glass. In the fourth one, he's flying a car into a helicopter. Yes, like, exactly. What the fuck yes. happened to Die Hard here? And I, I'm just gonna say it now before we go any further, because I know Ari's yelling at his fucking uh, iPhone or whatever. Godfather, obviously. Yeah. Even if the oh, third yeah, one's yeah. not good, can't, yeah. you know, forget Godfather. And uh, the Nolan Batman series was great too. So Carl, I why say. I say that, this is not a trick. It's just, this is, uh, when, I, when I was texting Clem about this idea, Clem oh. was like, we got to do this. This is the trilogy. We went the chips, trilogy. we went uh, salty, salty snacks, snacks, and today is sweet snacks. So this is a nice little trilogy to kind of tie the bow onto so, it. So is this, from the expert's mouth, you know, like what's not a sweet snack? Okay. Let's so start there. I think candy is its own realm. Right, I think because again, I think we can have a candy trilogy in the future. I think that would be delightful. Yeah, Correct. Not maybe for Gene, stand or for the rest of us. So take all candy out. Correct. Take so them. this is sweet snacks. We're thinking. You also said fruit snacks are out, correct? Fruit snacks are out, yes, because I think that would more go towards candy than it would towards gummy, sweet snacks. I think that would be part of the candy gummy. The draft, gummy. Right? Well, I think a gummy should a gummy draft should stand alone. A gummy candy a draft, agreed. exactly. Yeah. So, that's so I like, think candy draft will be a chocolate draft. I think a, a fruit draft could maybe throw some gummies in there yes. we'll figure all that out and etc a, a miscellaneous candy draft could be a trilogy and then the other thing that was kind of a interesting trick here is i think we should probably leave anything in the frozen section in the frozen section which again is its own draft but you're throwing ice creams and stuff like that it, that doesn't feel like it's as much a sweet snack yeah. as it is it's, it's more of a baked good i'd say kind of a thing yes like none of those uh, like consumer, frozen pies. consumer package good Sweet draft. Yeah, it of, has to be in the grocery store, like yeah. I said, too, because, you know, we're trying to avoid the popcorn debate. Um, but, yeah, I think those are the only three rules. Can't be from the frozen food. has to be from a grocery store. Uh, no fruit snacks because that will be part of another draft. Um, yeah, I think that, that covers everything, right, Clem? Until it's like, yeah, every everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face, and there's not a lot of. Uh, I there was I think um, 
a what was it overrule there was a veto, veto. a couple episodes ago but the veto that that's like a relic like people people who got into the dog pretty recently don't realize the veto was like a weekly thing at one point yeah yeah guys. we haven't really had one in a while i feel like we've had one at decently recent enough I yeah think. you guys fucking vetoed me what was it cheese is it, is it oh yes your oh, cheese pizza yeah. got vetoed a couple weeks ago yeah, uh-huh. trash move I've, on your part I thought John Rich was going to start throwing the veto around because he wanted to kind of get on everyone's nerves or whatever. But the, a new guy throwing a veto around on such an established show would be a, a risky move. Great guy, too, John Rich. Great blogger. Check yeah. him out on the blog. Dude, his mm-hmm. blogs are fucking hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Uh, the, the Dracula joke. I, I appreciate you picking that up, White Sox. Dave, it, was, was, it was perfect. Because I thought it was real the whole time. <laughs> Which is what made it great. <laughs> None of these guys read it, and I told him to. I love that White Sox Dave. He's like the uh, he's like the 2008 Stooley. Like he he doesn't know what's going on in the Barcelona world at all. Besides the book, it's uh, it's it's it's. I appreciate I it. I, I gotta have a separation of church and state, Clem. I think that's a fair thing to have or want. So I don't consume every ounce of Barcelona content. Yeah. The more you get into Barstool, the less you consume it. It's just the way it is. That's sure. exactly it. Putting it up. It's, it's Check out. Happens to me. When is the recap show air? The Portnoy Show recap show? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Or uh, Friday. Check that yeah, out. Yeah. T- well, tomorrow is Friday. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, Can you rename it the Dave, the Dave Portnoy Show show? I like that. I just think that kind of plays <laughs> as a thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dave will do that. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. We could get this Done. underway here. Uh, Harry um, has a number one through five behind his back. Clem, what number is it? Four. No. Carl. Three. Yes. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> um, I'll take. Um, I'll take the tough f- one. I'll take the fifth spot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Chief. One. Yes. I'll take first oh. overall. Oh wow! That Ow, was Chief going wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's this is setting up nice. <laughs> why? Why, why, why I, did you? Why did I do what? Because like I just I like. I'll little, explain little, my reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, oh well, you know well, what? I I think I have, I think I have an understanding on why. Why you're so why I'm excited or why no, he why, picked that? Well, I think you're excited because I, I, I think, think you think he's a doofus with sweet snacks, and yes. I think he's excited because he recognizes weaknesses and is coming into a short with a short, a short list board. and would rather have yeah. to yep. only go through 20 yep. picks. Yep. yep, bingo. So he realizes yeah. that, that this is a weak spot and I'm a doofus. I also realize I'm a doofus. So I'm going to take the one thing that I feel like is could be considered, at least in my head, a 1-1, one, one, and then – all my other picks are going to be fucking stupid, so it doesn't. Like, <laughs> I'm not worried anxiety. about you guys taking my picks, so I, I'll I'll wait nine picks before I get my second one. Yeah, and yeah. to me, I just get giddy at the fact of like he knows, like he said before we started, he's like, this is going to be a tough one for me. Like him running to the podium first overall, there's just a chance that something fucking catastrophic magical. can happen and yeah. magical in our in, for in us. our eyes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So you we'll see. You know what, too. He did this again. We're talking trilogy here, boys. We have a breadth of like content to go based off of. Let's not forget in the chip draft, the first part of this trilogy, Chief had the first pick, and I'm thinking the same thing. He's gonna fuck this up, and he took my Cape Cod number one yeah. and it ripped my soul out. And I thought I was gonna get it, or he, I don't know if he took it one, but he took it before I could take it at the end of the draft. So mm-hmm. Chief can hit, and again, most importantly. He will be done with the draft before anybody else, so his list has less of a chance mm-hmm. getting sniped throughout the thing. Even though I don't think it will. To, That's fact. To go on that note, Clem I'm draft. also doing this right here. I have written down what I think Chief is going to pick. On the, oh on the fuck stack. yes! Let's okay, go. I like this. I like this. Oh, but can you do me a oh, favor and get rid of those little frill edges and you know tear it down the? Yeah. Are you a little OCD? That is a little OCD to me. I like. No, I can't are you look, OCD? I, I don't you can't think look so. at his paper from across the screen. It bugs me. He's a thousand miles away. Just the, more like 880, but I mean, tomato, <laughs> tomato. Um, That's a man that flew to New York to not do a uh, baseball playoff baseball broadcast. He knows every uh, mile he flew. It used that. to be my job, but we've done that before. But yes, it, it was a little OCD, but it was bothering me. I, was that yeah. not bothering anybody else? No, no, no not at no, all. Not at not all. all. Uh, I think one, Dave, be, one through three. Uh, one. No. Uh, two. Yes. I'll take number two overall. Mm, don't like that. Uh, one or two, Clem. Two. Yes. Uh, three. All right. So the order is Chief, Eddie, Clem, White Sox, Dave, Carl. Uh, before we get underway, I do want to talk about the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. 
Uh, and that is the Game Time app, okay? Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. Clem, anything big coming up around you? I know you back in the day, RIP, you went to a DMX concert. Any concerts you got your eye on, or are you just standard Mets games? Uh, well, we got the Mets playoff push coming on. I apologize if I'm excited about the Mets being and going to a playoff push here. Uh, <laughs> no, just fucking Kyle. Uh, we actually are going there. Timmy Trumpet is going to be in City Field, the guy who does Edwin Diaz's entrance. And they've invited us to come and maybe do some stuff with him and Diaz. So I'm Jacob DeGrom is pitching. That is a game that I would buy tickets to and get at the game time app for a delightful deal. Stu Finer tickets without paying Stu Finer prices. That's what I always like to say about our friends at the game time app. And Eddie, the offspring. We got to go to an offspring show. We do. Little did we know that when we were filming The Dozen, The Offspring was a few miles away performing in New York City. We just watched a bunch of uh, snack videos prepping for The Dozen yeah, tournament. The dozen. Instead of Dude, it's one of my favorite on. bands, Clem. I'm not invited. You are. Oh, I didn't know. You, well, you do, Eddie and I have been talking about this for a while, but you are, of course, invited. I was listening to the well, last let's think about You were saying I'm a true I'll, I'll, offspring. I'll just tag along with that. Well, let's think about this, Clem. This would have been a nice night for you and I. And uh, It will be a nice night for the three of us now. Three, the three fellas. Well, Clem, I wish you didn't say that online. <laughs> uh, I did. Listen, I don't want Dave to think I don't like him. He's invited to the stream. He's invited to the Offspring concert. Dave, you come oh, over no, right no, now. Oh, no, 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 no. Make no mistake about it. I wasn't invited to the stream. I'm just doing a pop-in. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's a pop-in. But in, invite or not, I've never seen the Offspring. They actually played with one of my buddies um, out in Philly in like like a year ago. Um, all time, One of my all-time favorite bands. I was Same listening here. to him like a week ago when I was running. I don't run. Hmm? Download the Game Time app, go to the account tab, create a login and redeem code DOGWALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Download Game Time, last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right. The Sweet Snacks draft is underway, and I cannot wait for the first overall pick from Barstool Chief. I think it's extremely chalk, and I'm going double stuff Oreos. <laughs> so... I mean, they're good. I mean, you can make all the fart noises you want, you <laughs> fucking infant. But that's a that's an iconic pick. I love double stuff Oreos. You dump them in, dunk them in a little bit of milk, and I think they're great. That was like a teacher who got just incensed by a just fart noise. So mad. <laughs> no, I. It's obviously. It's listen. That's a great pick. One one. Win the people. Win the flavor. Home run. I just. It's a recent take that I have had over the last year where I'm like, I think I'm. I think I'm too old for double stuff. I'm back to regular stuff. Oh, sounds like a you problem. Wow. I know. Mentioning I know. other other options out there, huh, Carl? Is that what we're gonna do? Tip and picks. We're gonna do? Yeah, that's tough. That's ugly. <laughs> That's tough. This is the trilogy. I got to go at him hard right now. You I got to be tough on him because he won the salty snacks on. He took my fucking crown with, again, a movie theater popcorn that might not have been in the spirit of the game. Hmm. Uh, Chief, shout out to you. Honestly, I would not have you pe pegged as a double stuff guy. I It's not on my chief list. I did not see that coming. But it's I, a great pick. It's like Cape Cod chips. Yeah. I Now I I, I know you can't admit tip it, the pick, admit but. It. I, I wish that I could know what you thought I was going to pick. I don't like. Well, I, I thought I thought that we would be in sync on that. To be honest, I now I feel like we're going to have to wait like half an hour before we find out what you wrote down. The suspense is killing me. Oh, I can't I can't reveal your. I have one, two. I put your five picks that I thought you were going <laughs> to get. Five, okay. Oh, All right, I did never. the whole draft. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But again, I, I would have said a different Oreo, a, a okay. few different Oreos, but right. way before double stuff. Do you? So are you a, a double stuff Oreo guy? Uh, historically, yeah. I don't know how, when the last time I had one was, but yeah. I, you know, in high school and before, I would love a double stuffed Oreo. That that's the purple package, and I f I think that's. I don't think the single is enough. Like I I want mm -hmm. some of that. Uh, I like the double stuff the best. So yeah, that would be if I was going to pick an Oreo, uh, at least in the first round, that would be it. That would be the move. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, there was a lot of hype. A lot of people were excited, but you know, you went super shocked there. Yep. Uh, we just didn't know what you like. You were. It's not above you to do something crazy. So but. when we were one pick in, I'm gonna do and say stupid things within this draft. I promise you guys will have a chance to hit me with things. So yeah, uh, uh, an double extremely stuff is not the place. An extremely uh, one one worthy pick. I think so. At least it's a good pick. I'm not the biggest Oreo guy. I'm not either. I like a different cookie more, but like Oreos are fucking. It's a legacy. Pick. Oreo. I yeah. yeah. I, I'll eat them. I won't enjoy them unless I'm like soaking them in milk. You personally. need. I, I think you need milk too. Like I, I think that's like a 
I don't. I'm not gonna sit there and just put Oreos in my mouth without. Yeah, a right. Package. That's but how it's I a am. quick. I don't like it soaked. I like a quick dunk. I like all my fucking cookies like falling off in the glass of milk. And oh, then you see, drink I hate it. that. <laughs> I don't know. The the people at Oreo, like I, I would love to say it should be the default Oreo. No, no, no. They made their bones with the original Oreo, but when they got the double stuff, and I think it's one point nine one times, so it's not a complete double. Doesn't fucking matter. They fucking nailed it. Just call it double stuff, not two tech stuff. Whatever. It's perfect. Also, I'm all, uh, when when I'm having an Oreo, take a couple out of the sleeve, eat one regular. Maybe you want to dunk it in the milk, but I also like to twist. Kind of eat some frosting off of it. And oh. kind of, like, I'm, I'm also a, a peeler of an Oreo. Like well. rounders. And I love Oreos. It's freestyle. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Teddy okay. KGB. Yeah, Teddy yeah. KGB. Now, that's a very good point, though, Clem. Has there ever been a product that was so good in its second form that it basically took on the first form? Like, like maybe I know people they like. They used to in, advertise that. Yeah, did they? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. They, they used to make like, commercials with, like, you know, how to eat the Oreo. And like, do you, do you know, you do the I twist. remember that, yeah. yeah so. I, I got a couple for you, but I don't want to talk about them now because I'm in the, I'm in, I don't want to get in the habit of spoiling multiple picks. I'd also like to apologize to the audience. I'll give you a quick well. one. Uh, a lot of people think the Doritos Locos Tacos is like the move, like the move, right? Over like the regular taco shell. It, it, it's like a different yeah. drink. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? People are like, oh, why would you get a regular taco when you sure. can get that now? Like that's Some the, people... Some people would kind of go maybe Cool Ranch Doritos better than the nacho. Not me, yep. obviously. I made my mm -hmm. pick in the draft that I won, the chip draft, the first of this trilogy. Um, and talking trilogy talk, some would say the Oreo is the Star Wars A New Hope, whereas the double stuff is the Empire Strikes Back, which my guy Carl knows yes. is the there pinnacle you go. of I the mean, Star Wars. Great analogy. Uh, Godfather 2. And can, Godfather I, can, I, can I comment? I mean, I, I don't want to tip picks. Sorry, my last comment. I'm going to tip a pick, and you guys could throw a tomato at me if you want. I don't have tomato. Uh, the mega stuff was just too much. Concur. Yes. Concur. I don't think anyone's going to draft it. I don't, I'd rather. Wow, I prefer, that's a bold. Did you, did you ever try the mega stuff? Well, I got mega stuff top of the board. You're right? a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I also would love to have, like, not a sports science, but maybe, like, I, I also don't think it's strictly double stuff. I think it's more than that. You think so? I think it's 1. like 1.91 one times. He already said that. Well, I he missed knows that, the right? exact decimal point. The, okay. the mega was just fucking. It was enormous. I always felt like that one needed like another, like a, almost like a Big Mac. Like yeah, it needed yeah, a third yeah, cookie yeah. in the middle to <laughs> yes. make it. Yeah. yeah. Or a thicker cookie. Yeah. yeah. They, they definitely fucked that up. They definitely should have put a thicker cookie or the third cookie. That's a <laughs> yeah. good. Chief, Sneaky has some good snack takes here, man. I think. <laughs> By you. the way, Snacking Off's coming back. We're bringing it back in September. We already filmed a bunch. Uh, oh, we're oh gonna fuck have yeah. Thing, so. How come I we'll wasn't invited? <laughs> <laughs> Only thing, Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to move to Chicago just so my guys aren't mad at me anymore. It's like, can I, about my family. Can I house of dragons you with Dave right now and invite myself on the show one day? Because that's like a dream show for me. Game of stools, which apparently we got shoved off the corner. I thought I was gonna be on the Dave Portnoy show this week. I was gonna challenge him to a sword fight because he was taking our game of stools. I was so proud. They, they're like, guys, the Game of Stools podcast. We're doing great numbers on it. This is a really good thing. We have merch. Game of Thrones is hashtag back. It looks like, and then the next day, our you know chief of content or whatever he is now the premier content doesn't even know he's this and just steamrolls us and takes our show name that was so fucked up <laughs> it's not right man. but was, uh I, and i didn't know if it was a shot at kfc because that's what dave you know made his bones on for the first 10 years here when we became a website or if it was a shot at me or because i'm a mets fan that put frank in twitter jail no he just had no idea we existed <laughs> classic dave fashion um all right it's to you me you are invited though eddie yes you are invited thank you the Stool show. thank you no i was talking snacking off Oh, snacking off. Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah All right. Thank you. Uh, all right. It's me, second pick. Um, I mean, we talked about him so much off the top of the show. And um, he lives and dies by these. And I think they're unbelievable, too. I got to go with Entenmann's Donuts. Um, that would have been my 1-1. One, one. Really? Oh, yeah. That was my 1-1 one, one as they're well. They're so fucking bad. Like, I don't even think they're real food. In <laughs> oh, like like the, the artificial? Yeah, yeah. But so they're disgusting. so good. They're so good. They're unbelievable. I could eat an entire box of them. Are you saying you said they're disgusting? Like you don't like them? No, no, no. They're good. Like I'll eat them, but I have to. You have to go to like a mental space because they're not <laughs> yes. donuts. Yes. They need to be called something yes, else. Exactly. They need to be called exactly. like donut like treats, so that I'm yes. like, okay, these aren't donuts. Because those compared to bakery donuts, 
I mean, what it's not real it's chocolate. Not. It's not real. Like, I don't know what the fuck is in them, but I don't care. They're Wait, unbelievably good. And in so, my, sorry. Go, keep going. In my experience as a sales guy before Barstool, uh, some of my sales partners did a lot of work in the food production industry. And so they'd be like, hey, my guy does health planning and stuff if you want to meet with him. And we'd say, yeah, sure. So you'd go in with these guys and they would have the relationship on the operational side. And so the first thing the fucking food producers want to say, hey, you want to check out the plant? <laughs> yeah, sure. There's stuff like that gets made that I will absolutely not ever fucking touch. I don't want to talk oh, about really? your own experiences, mm. but it is just like the food production industry is disgusting. Yep. I would put these Enamon donuts probably on the lowest end of them. Yep. And even so, they're fucking fabulous. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. When I get to that place and I get the box, usually it's when you go on vacation and you're like loading up all the shit from the grocery store and it's just Dude, like. It's rare. You get that crack of that chocolate. Okay, so that's the one you're taking. What do you yeah. mean? The. Well, they're yeah, the chocolate rich frosted. Okay. To be clear, rich frosted. Yeah, I'm not a. I don't fuck with the other one. Yeah, well. I don't want to ruin. I'm sorry. Do we want to take that out? I don't want to ruin. No, no, no. I don't think you could ruin Entenmann's for no. anyone. Everybody knows. I really garbage. don't. Like, yeah, it, but it's also like it's a fucking donut. It's not like it's a fucking. It's meat and yeah, yeah. like ground beef or right, mystery, right, mystery right, right. fucking chicken nuggets. What's up, Clown? You, you look. You, you could tell me a rat bakes these things. A whole rat family bakes yeah. them. I'm still going to eat them. No problem yeah, at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they, do they uh, function for you guys the way a traditional donut functions in the world? Like how some, like Danny brings in donuts, right? Nice yeah. move from Danny. Social media guy Danny should get a shout Kiss out for this. Ass he move he for brings me. in donuts because there's a good Dunkin' by him on Irving Park. He brings them in for the office. We have one. You have two. Do you, are there people bringing in Enemans to work? They fucking should, dude. They should. I don't think they are, but they should. If they like you, yeah. yeah. Like this, but this is, I think, by far the class of the Enemans. You're giving me the other Enemans, like, oh, they ran out of the rich chocolate frosted because it is so clear. It was my number one, and the reason I took three was I was like, if Chief doesn't take them one, I don't want to be at the four pick in case two and three they're gonna because Enemans was by far it's a tier above, and now I'm kind of I have a billion picks. For, I could choose anything right here with my pick, Enemans. I was like, if I could build my entire draft around Enemans, I am golden. At least my guy Eddie did it to me. Because this is my ZD guy. We're brothers. He was very quiet yesterday, not defending the Game of Stools podcast, <gasps> which I did find concerning. But uh, talk about I that for a second. Did that, <laughs> like, did that bother you? It did bother me, and then I realized Eddie was taking a lot of shrapnel from like they thought he was going at Mincy. So I'm like, when your mentions are on fire, you don't even know who's coming at you from what angle. I just I I was hoping he would have kind of been like, hey Dave, like, and and Dave apologized to Robbie this morning about it. And I said, hey, Dave, maybe you could tweet out a link and uh, the podcast to promote it. I'd consider water under the bridge. And Robbie just said, Dave says that's a sign of weakness. So I'm not going to be getting my link from the Dave Portnoy tweet anytime soon. So uh, it, it was a little concerning. Again, I think ZD's thicker than than water, than blood, than money, whatever it is. But uh, Eddie's silence was a little – because I'm a nethead too. Like you said, I – Clem, I apologize. Um, I – are you apologizing because he called you? No, out, no, no. I was. You're actually sorry. Well, I just want to explain my day yesterday. It was started with that. We had a bunch of podcasts to record. Then I was under fire the whole Mincy thing, and then I spent like an hour on Belmont here trying to get someone off the street to smell Hannah's feet to to get my black and white sock theory clear. I ended up finding a guy, and it was just a chaotic day. And I had a bocce game, and I lost. So what, what it was job. just Sorry. tough. Yeah. yeah, what a job. Yeah, so I apologize. That's on me. Thing, man. I saw it too. I'm not going to act like I didn't because that would be That's disingenuous. Integrity. But I, I, I should have stepped in. I apologize. That's fine. I, I, Damn. I, I, it took you that long to to get someone to smell a girl's feet. Like I feel like that's a thing that I guess the internet. Especially out with all the right? weirdos that are walking was up and down this street. It was less than an hour, but it, we were out there for. It felt like an hour for sure. Uh, <laughs> I still love you, Eddie. It's all good. Water under the bridge. It just it was it was a lot yesterday, but it seems like we're gonna do all right. Good. If, no. How about you give me the donut as like a, a make good? You give me the and then you could take. I'll give you a donut and a great shout out. No, no, on no. The, show the pick. I want the pick. Oh no, 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 no! Can't do that. That's that's a step too far. This was circled on my list. Entenmann's donuts are fuck. The, the fact that they could make, because you know everyone's like all. Oh, like everyone pretty much agrees when it comes to pastries in a sense where like a baked good a home good is usually always better oh yeah this is the one thing where it's like i think a lot of people like two donut like a lot of people would go into bins bro i would go over like the 
like commercialized chain donut places. But for what about sure. like the like these fancy donut shops that try to do too Stans? much? Yeah, well, sure, but Stans is good. They have a lot of good ones. I don't want to out like shit on Stans. That's not the point. But some of them are a little too much. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, like yeah. the maple with the bacon. Yeah, the, that's what I mean. You know, like sometimes. Plays. Yeah. And then it's like four ninety five, and they're like, these are artisan donuts. Like, what? Yeah, Stop sometimes that. you prefer. I just, uh, I just want chocolate donuts. Yeah. Stop. And yeah. like you said, at that, or I think Carl said, the crunch, you even get like a little bit of English in there where it's like, is that? Like it's almost like you get a, a a rogue garlic taste in like a fucking bagel. Which after Carl's statement, I'm starting to wonder what that might have been. But it's it's like it's all part of the game. The snap when like when I fell in love with Barstool, it was like, oh, these guys are crazy. Big Cat's doing crazy shit. Dave's being Dave. Kevin's writing about the Mets and you know awesome writing. But then when Kevin was just having like waxing poetic about Edmonds Donuts for like a thousand words at a time, like this place just gets me, you know what I mean? And this donut is that important to not only my life, but to Barstool in general, I think. It's yep. a great donut. We wouldn't be and here the only if it one that for I those donuts. Like that. That's right. That's true. Mm-hmm. So I'm, uh, I'm thrilled to get it second overall. Um, Clem, you are up. All right. So I really would have liked that fucking donut head. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. Oh, this is such a good fucking pick. It's such a good pick. I don't know how it's going to look on the graphic. I don't give a shit what it's going to look on the graphic. There's a, it's a, it's an oxymoron almost. It's, I'm talking about the Little Debbie's Christmas tree cake for those wondering what I'm talking about. To a lot of people, they see Little Debbie. She's an affordable brand. She's something that you're going to see like $1.99 on the box. And that price doesn't change. It's there no matter if you're buying it in New York, Chicago, L.A., or, you know, fucking Timbuktu. However, the Christmas tree cake, it's like McDonald's Coke. There's just something. They must jack up the syrup and the sugar in it. It just tastes better. It, you, know, you could say it's the holiday cheer in the air, whatever it is. It just is fucking so goddamn good. It's classy. Little Debbie's isn't always the classiest uh, snack cake you're going to find out there. But when the Christmas tree cake is out, it just makes you feel better about yourself, about life. It's a holiday thing. I don't know. When I was in college, we had a holiday party and what do we do instead of getting the cheap can domestic beers we got ourselves a couple of cases of nice glass bottles and little debbie's christmas tree cake. we did that it one year i think you it was it for too. uh friendsgiving yes. it wasn't christmas but we everybody brought like a box of little debbie snacks it just brings the cheer man yeah. so i need that at the top of the graphic if i can't have my my intimates uh, chocolate frosted donut the christmas tree cake is right there um tit for tat the interesting thing about the Christmas tree cake is there is another product that is very similar, and and the, but there's something about the Christmas tree cake that makes it a little better. So I think you made the right choice. I think you know which one I'm referring to that I think will be drafted at some point. But um, I don't know the or is it ornaments that are like the sprinkles. Mm-hmm. The sprinkles are a part of it, definitely. My the thing you're talking about, I believe, is my wife's favorite little Debbie Debbie snack and like top like top of the chain for her. It would be probably a first round pick for her. Um, but there is just something different. Again, it's it's McDonald's Coke versus regular Coke. The original, fucking awesome what it does. But when you have it at Mickey D's or you know a, a glass um, bottle of Coke, we could just do a we could do a soda. Oh no. The tank did this one. Excuse me, I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Bite my tongue. That's the true king of this thing. Yeah. Um, I just think there is different when the Christmas tree is on the box. Yeah, I um I, I can't argue with the climate. I think you were I think you were all I don't think you knew what you wanted to do there. But uh like right, you probably had a couple ways and you're just like, fuck it, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. Like it was sentiments are bust, and now it's like just go with my guys yeah. here. You know, Barada, mm-hmm. go with your heart, don't there worry you about go. what everyone else says. I go got a, what you do. I got a question. Christmas and this could be plays. a horrifically yes. dumb question, but I try to avoid buying all these kind of snacks now in spite of my love for these kind of snacks because I'm fat. Do they sell these year round? No, you're no. Own, that's that's the thing. Limited edition. You're getting them like when, they, okay. when they're on the shelves, you're like, all right, Christmas is coming. Like yep. I don't consider Christmas officially on like you could. I was in Costco the other day, August 14th. There was Christmas shit for sale. And I was like, guys, come on. Like, I'm at least starting to get Labor depressed because I'm seeing Halloween shit and there's Christmas yep. shit already. There's it's Christmas four months shit away. I Not love good Christmas. at all. To the day, it's but four months away. There's there two things that I, or three things that I consider Christmas season. One, I see the Little Debbie snacks. Two, the Hershey Kiss commercial where they're singing, mm. we wish you a Merry And the, they, they're the little bells. And then yep. uh, Claymation uh, Rudolph. I was going to say three yeah. when the scoreboards on the NFL thing start getting a little bit of snow, maybe a couple of little Christmas lights in there. Those are the three things for me. Oh, All right, we're, we're, we're cooking now. We can start playing some. Fucking we can start playing some Christmas music other than Mariah. 
which plays every single day of the year. I didn't know that that, that they weren't year round. That makes it that makes it better too. I I, I agree. Anybody have a have a con with this pick, Chief? Maybe. I mean, yeah, the number one con is its availability. That's all. Yeah. You know, if he's yeah. looking, but is that a con or is that I mean, a pro? That thing's Think, absolutely available in the second round. I mean, so, well, if there rare, is something that he has ahead of it on his power that. Um, rarity always increases value. Yeah. So Supply whether it's demand, gold or diamonds or what, or little Debbie's Christmas cake snacks, like you, things that, that are rare are more valuable. So I like the pick in the first round, Clem. And also Chief you went with your heart. Economy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'd say it's around around too high, but White Sox Dave's a sick fuck. You never know where he's gonna go. Um, it might not have gotten back. This to could him. be a home run of a pick. It could not be a home. It could be a, a, a you're up, you're going. swing and a miss. Yeah, I'm All going. Right. Um, I'm going with the little de- or the hostess. I'm sorry, the mini muffins, the blueberry mini muffins that you get like I don't know, maybe eight in a little bag. Oh, little bites. Are, yeah, little bites. The little bites. Yeah, little bites. You're Ooh. getting five in a bag. You're and taking hostess. Uh, hostess. Yes. Ooh. 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 You sure? Ooh. You sure? Not, are you sure? I'm looking at them all yeah, right are now. You sure, it's Dave? all hostess. Yeah, Dave? Dave? He's, hold on, hold on. It's not, it's not, it's hand not hand over. Hand, the the hand is off the pick. pick. No, hand it's not. Well you don't get, I'm not done yet. I'm not uh, done yet. I'm hand, trying to describe it. You just it. said hostess mini box. I, I think that was like, a, well. He said hostess. Did he say it Listen, or did you say it first and he said yes? What? That's leading. He doesn't know the first thing about Well, I don't know if he did that. He did. He did absolutely do that. Play it back, God damn it. He's leading the witness. Man. It's tough. Listen, I'm a snack guy. Even I don't like Hostess, Drake's. There's a lot of companies, a lot of things going on right now. If if I want him to take what he wants to take, and I said the other company, which I don't believe he wants, but I don't know. I I want him to pick who what he wants. What you the want? Little bites. That's what I'm hostess, talking about. Who hostess is that? Mini muffins. No, it's fucking that to me. No, you want there's Hostess mini muffins, muffins and there's little bites. I want the little bites. That's what I'm talking about. The little bites. Wait, so did he say Hostess little bites? I thought it, I thought it might have been, but oh, that's what climb. they are. Little bites. He said I, this is, I'm looking at the, and I said Clem little said bites. little bites. Little bites. That's what I want, the little bites. And, the, and, and I they're forgot, intimates. I didn't even know Hostess Picks had all I forgot Hostess place now. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, do you think the do you think the people on the graphic would be able to tell the difference though? I probably like not. I can I know they that look exactly the same. Better than the other, but but I'm it's one of those sure if you know you know. Many muffins, they just okay. Regardless of the brand, delicious pick. It does fall into the Capri Sun category of gone before you can enjoy. Yeah, that's true. There's only four, I think, right? Yeah, I think, I think there's only four. four. I thought you four said five. five. Whatever, however four. many there are. It's always disappointing. I mean, My you're kids. not eating one bag anyways. You're eating two of them. And you don't even chew them. You just, like, <laughs> fucking suck them down. You let the saliva break it down into, like, a, a sweet muffin paste. It's the perfect amount of moist, too. It's unbelievable. They have perfected it. How do they keep that moisture? Heavy moist. Muffin. Do they have, like, a... They, I mean, that would be the opposite. Like, a what is it? A, a desiccate packet? No, they say. bake them close to the equator before they ship them is out. Is that what they do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they keep them moist somehow. It's like there's a humidifier in the bags that we can't see. It's invisible. I feel like it's a, it's a stick of butter per package, which again is like Probably, four muffins yeah. total. If you just tweet out, you take a picture of a Little Bites um, van or like the trucks that they deliver in and be like, there's only 40 muffins in that entire van. Always just gets a ton of retweets and whatever. Because everyone is so frustrated. It's like, I just want more, but I don't want to eat six bags of these things because it's not good for you. And like, they could give you six in a bag. Like, there's no yes. reason why they can't. Like... I'm so upset though that you didn't go hostess. That would like, I, I was just ready to fucking shred you. Because That's a suicide Ant- bomb, basically. I was. <laughs> why? What's the what's Antimins is just like light years better. I was because all I was thinking of is the like white bag. No, with I, the know, mini muffins. I know. I know. So but I'm you looking know, up what brand, and it was it was the Antimins is the one that like that's what. No, I, was I know. Of. Details matter. I yeah. in my in my uh, in high school or whatever it was like 2007. My buddy's fantasy draft. I had my first round pick. I took Orlando Cabrera instead of Miguel Cabrera on accident, and they made me keep it. You know, like, you know, that's a, w- w- names matter, a, words matter, Dave. Was so he like, on the White Sox then? No, he was on the Expo Who's still, it? or the, maybe maybe he was on. Uh, he was sweet. The Red Sox. He had a couple good years. Yeah, was, but like he wasn't Miguel he Cabrera. Was such a well, concept. Miguel Cabrera was a good player. Yeah, you fucked yes. that one up. I fucked up, and they let me wear it. So that's what I mean, Dave. Sometimes you just gotta wear stuff, and they still remind me of it to this day. So, but do you you did you learn a lesson? Yeah, to be more thorough. Dave, yeah. what's your lesson here? Listen. To be more thorough. <laughs> um, 
Awesome. I love pick that. That's there, a thing too that they still bust your balls about. Like I had my fantasy draft this weekend, and we're going to bust the kids' balls who you know drafted the Ravens' defense in the third round, or mm-hmm. you know you just back in like the Ray Lewis kind of years, stuff. Ed Reed. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, great pick. I don't think anyone like even. No, no one sticks their nose up at fucking little bites, dude. That like like Clem said, that moisture in those little bite-sized muffins is just how do they do it? Yep, it's a mystery how do they of the do world. It? Sugar and butter. Yep, lots of that. Lots of both. Yeah. Um, Carl, Fake you're up. Berries. My one and two cookies are available, and I will draft them now. Oh, wow. the third one is Oreo double stuff. That's it's still it's a great cookie. I love Oreo double stuff. Um, I'm going to go with the number one thin crispy cookie, and there is not a two that can compete with Tate's Bake Shop, chocolate mm-hmm. chip. Yep. There's So it's just the only problem with them, though, is you have to eat them right away because the next day, if you open that bag, they go soft. You can't have them soft. Mm. So they package them up, though, in like trays of five. Their packaging sucks, Dick. Pa- like, packaging sucks. Yeah. But the fir- like- when you open the bag... And that first, the the in that first interaction you get with it for like an hour, you're sitting down for a movie or something. They have two sleeves of five or six, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't eat less than three. I would say I love the packaging on the shelf. Like I think it looks great. It pops like the on the, sh- the the branding, yeah. the green. I think it looks great when you get it home and you have to open it up. That's when it gets a little frustrating. Brutal. Yeah, but it's hard to say it's terrible packaging. No, I think it and is. Though. He's a packaging guy. So for our for people that don't know, this his background is yeah. in packaging. He's passionate not this about kind. Oh, of it's packaging. genius packaging. Too. Like they also like they force you to eat five cookies. If you oh, with want the it. little twist thing. I'll tell you. No, no they no, kind no. of force you to eat. That. Yeah, they do they have the little twist thing? Well, right the there? the plastic's no, no, no. so thin. It's like, I hate when the the plastic. You have no control over that plastic. Up. It's worse than opening a bag of sunflower seeds. It's just yeah. it's just chaos. Mm-hmm. It's That's more. One of the, sorry, Clem, go. That's one of the beautiful things about goldfish packaging is how that thing always stay that package always stays kind of in a box, right? And mm-hmm. it, you fold it down, keeps it fresh, and you don't like just great engineering by them. And the people that fuck it up, it it hurts to see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, they're, they're awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you ever had them? It sounds like no. I I've had I maybe I I can tell what they are though. They're the number one thin cookie. And people who love thin cookies will agree with me. They're but they're, they, uh, they're crunchy though. You yeah. said yes, they're they're crunchy. See, I that's I like soft. They could be a little more softer in the middle. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I like a I like a cookie all crunch. the way around crunch. I like the, I like the crunch, but I like I don't know. I like the I like the middle to have some soft. Two things for me: cereal and cookies. I like it soggy as fuck. It's kind of gross, mm-hmm. and I know that. But do you ever just clump it up in a ball and just? Not no, I don't. No. Um, right. I'll dip it until my fingers it just like kind of falls off. And then I'll fish it out of the milk mm-hmm. with my fingers. I like that. I don't think yeah. taste is there at fifteen or sixteen. I think it's got value on the board. I think it's as a as like I said, the number one thin cookie. And so I want to have a couple different types of cookie. I think I can get soft later. I definitely would have taken it at ten. Excellent. So I don't know if that makes you feel good or bad that I would have taken it in this draft that high, but. Well, I think there's a lethal combination that you can bring to the board in, in today for today's draft. I'm going to take my number one cookie in the second round for presentation purposes, and I'm taking the classic Oreo. There's no way I'm letting classic Oreo get anywhere back to anybody on this board um, because it is the godfather. It stands alone for all these reasons. I think you can put more down. Like the double stuff after I get, you know, like three, four, whatever. I don't like to binge double stuff because it's just hard. There's some mental block there. Regular Oreos, though. There's just something about it where it's it's more of like um, they're just easier to polish. Yeah, I, I don't know though. I think um, I think it's a good move because you're gonna have both. But I think P, like double stuffs like the Swifties, right? I feel like the the fan base has just completely gone over to their to that side. I've which one do you think posed they, this before? This has been something really? I've gone on. And what, what have you found? The, uh, I'm genuinely curious. I'm gonna look at the poll. Results. Clem, you got any thoughts? Yeah, so we had um, we went on vacation and there was like a box of Oreos at Costco. It was like I would say it was like five dollars for like a thousand regular Oreos, and I was like, oh man, what a deal! And just feed the kids this whenever we need it. And then I'm I'm eating. I'm like, man, double stuff. They they like ruined regular Oreos for me almost. And I, I still think they're good. And there's something about the brand and all that kind of stuff. But it's it's empire versus a new hope again it's it kind of is that it's like i love a new hope but empire just 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 crushes it it's still fucking awesome at what it does and a legend in the game um but for me and mega stuff i wanted to make this i wanted to get this take out there too 
mega stuff is when you hear like lucky charms is releasing only the marshmallows it's mm -hmm. like it sounds awesome and then after the second half you're like fuck this this is th Not there's bad. a balance to everything in life that needs to be adhered to definitely um, i also do i would love to have just a fucking thing of cream filling of oreos just to take a little spoonful whenever i want it and i don't know why they've never done that at least that i've ever seen yeah yeah i don't i don't know why they haven't done that that's a very good point you should do uh, that and start selling it like on the side of the road like a lemonade stand <laughs> just peeling off my yeah. doubles or mega stuff oreos and putting it in like <laughs> yeah a jar. Be an investment just stuff. for you boom there we go yeah i'm in not good no nah, i tweeted it november 27 2021 so around that thanksgiving time this past year 84 responses 875 likes though and i said i'm out on double stuff oreos single stuff only double stuff's too much stuff now and i think they changed the stuff either way i'm a single shot regular oreos rule supreme clem replied I think you're wrong, but I also think basements are significantly better than garages. Agree to disagree. <laughs> you know, so, hey, says a New York guy. You don't know shit. In my basement right now, you guys were commenting how nice it looked, right? This is I my would basement. It does kill look someone nice. for a basement uh, right now. Thank you. So sick of having one fucking floor. It is kind of annoying I'm to have one floor. Fucking sick of one floor. A basement like I don't know how it's like warmer in the in the in the winter and cooler in the summer. Basements are <laughs> fucking great. Oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I worked landscaping one year in college. It was like a work study thing. Basement AC. You want to draft it? Oh, <laughs> after landscaping, zero light would be getting through those windows. We'd stuff oh, them with yeah. blankets and pillows and stuff so the windows wouldn't let light in. We would just sit in there in the AC and just it was bliss. I mean, you're, you're a cave. You're a cave <laughs> troll. Uh, what do you think about him taking uh, classic chief? Yeah. I think he got the lesser of the two. Like I'm not. I'm like unconcerned. I feel like the those are the cookies, the single Oreo, the regular original. That's the ones that they just give over to like briars. Be like, here, put this in your ice cream. It's like fine. we don't want it anymore. <laughs> what a line. So it's true. It is true. If this was a two round draft, maybe I don't take Oreo here. But there's five rounds, and I think I have. Uh huh. I don't think anyone would have taken it. Would I would not have. No. 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 My board. Um, wow, that would have been there for the yeah. Mr. Relevant. Yeah, yep. just because I don't think it would have been. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. I will say this about the graphic oh, too. That's blind. Insane. Since it's a blind graphic, obviously now that we've changed it to you know numbers, people are going to think you're Chief on the top two picks right now. I'm just because I I that's I didn't write point. down Tate's for Chief. I could see ta Chief taking Tate's right. It's a I would have taken cookie. it. It's a nice yeah. cookie. It's a good cookie. Exactly. And then I would have said because I think you took Cheerios in our cereal draft back in the day. Oreos is the Cheerio of um, cookies, whereas Honey Nut Cheerio is the double stuff mm -hmm. of cookies. Um, okay. Honey Nut Cheerio is another better sequel than the original. Good good call. Thing. Very good call on that. Uh, White Sox, Dave. I'm going with my favorite little Debbie snack. I'm going with Nutty Buddy Bar. I graded that as a third to fourth round pick. It's, I think it's an excellent pick. You put it in the freezer. How do you How do you interact with your Nutty Buddy? Um. Right now, I haven't. I haven't. We actually have had him in the office somewhat yes. recently, right? Yeah. Um. I don't know if I. I indulged. Um. I'm trying to watch my figure, but um. Growing up, they would be in the freezer and they would be gone this within three hours of my mom bringing them home from the grocery store. The entire box would be. I think a great serving is in the gas station convenience store setting when they have them. The for price individual, under, yeah, price yep. under a dollar. Mm -hmm. Like I think that's one of the best value snacks in a convenience store. Good pick. I don't think this makes it back to you, so I think I think it's a good pick. I'm a big fan of them. Um, I never know who what everyone's little Debbie's power rankings are like because there are so many it's different things. Always number one of mine. Always. So and again, peanut butter chocolate always plays. Um, and you know, a little bit of serendipity. I just got tagged in a tweet here by my pal, um, Tony Flo. There was a man in Virginia Beach arrested. The police found him because there was a trail of Little Debbie food wrappers, <laughs> which led them to where he was uh, with a bunch of stuff I guess he had stolen along the way. So Little Debbie's is so good, it'll get you caught by the police. Yeah. Um, Naughty Bars. Wow. What? I mean, that's like great forensic work by those guys. And he shouldn't have left the metaphorical yet physical cookie trail i'm going to in my head canon going to say he was eating nutty bars too and he just kind of left them all exactly the way. what by the i'm way, thinking yeah 
there's bigger ones at the gas station, right? I feel like there's like the, the, the little bit of the bigger boys at the gas station that are bigger than you get in the boxes. I don't know if that's true or if it's just feels you know, that way. Mindell also, affecting it. if I'm going to con it, um, it, it cannot be near any heat. It is yes. the number one melted snack, oh, yeah, probably. And For sure. To the point where you can't even get out of the, the cellophane, you know, like you're fucked. You would no, have yeah. with the cellophane as like your wrapper. I have to do that sometimes because I'm worried about getting the fingies. The doo doo uh, fingers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And as we know with the cheese, the cheese off, right? We do not want to have. Granted, yeah. that's a. It was a, a dust off, thing, but yes. But it's still, yeah, a dust off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I won. I love you guys. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. I just love. No, no, no such no, thing. God, no. no such thing. Beautiful. Uh, People are gonna look at the podcast and see a three-hour-long thing. They're like fucking Clemson. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is why you're on. You're the expert. Like when we're talking snacks, we're talking to you, Clem. I appreciate um, it. You're up, by the way. All right. So it kind of goes perfectly off of what Dave just chose. We're doing peanut butter. We're doing chocolate. This may not be, it's not maybe the most well-known of the Drake cake family, but I love me a funny bone. And anyone who knows funny bone loves funny bone. I believe they even have a thing where it's like great in the freezer where they try to, you know, promote you to, you know, throw it in there just in case you don't want that to melt. Um, it's, I don't know, it's one of those things where it's like the tr Christmas tree cake. I'm going with my heart, I'm going with my Barada soul, and I don't want to lose this one like I lost my sweet Entman chocolate frosted donut. Wait, what did you speak draft? Speak up to me. Funny bone. Keep talking because I have never heard never of it. Never heard of it, I thought you were drafting like uh Well, we just entered lost. our first part of the draft where we're getting a regional here, so it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Oh, so this, you know what, I didn't even think of this, and um, there was, I think, a question with the – Jeff was asking me about questions with a dozen. Is this fair or not fair? Because it was like a snack thing that could be a regional thing, and I didn't realize you guys probably don't have a fucking clue what I'm talking I about. I have All right. no idea. No. All right. So I thought funny you were drafting like a fucking uh, like busy bone from like – what's it called? <laughs> I drafted someone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah, Bone Thugs. <laughs> I was like, what? You got uh, – it's a cake snack chocolate covered with – Peanut butter on the inside. Reese's Sounds is my favorite delicious. candy. And it is, I next time, uh, you know what? When you guys all come for the Mets stream and White Sox Days pops in, we're going to have some funny bones with the boys. Clem, they look great. you know what? These are right up my alley. I cannot wait to have a funny bone with you. I, I, I was going to just mail them to the office now, but I kind of want to like see it in person because they are so fucking good. I look so, fired. These look fucking awesome. Awesome chocolate with Do you guys know drake cakes out there you guys may not know drake cakes. no we don't have drake oh man we did you say you guys have, don't have hostess we have hostess drake i think rules the streets here in new york but, we don't have um, no we don't have these and then tasty cakes is philly right yep uh-huh um no we don't have drake funny bone but like dave said they look fabulous they look fabulous i'll take your word mm -hmm. for it whatever you're whatever praises you're about to sing about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're top notch. Again, I, whenever I, I tweet about them, a lot of people, it's kind of the the, the thinking man's, like I said, with the thinking man's cheap chip. I feel like a lot of people who are like, oh, I've never had them, but then the people who have are like, no, those things are maybe the best thing out there. It's kind of, it's your guy on your, on your fucking, uh, there's always like, this guy's the best pitcher on the team. I always saw Jacob DeGrom. I was like, everyone loves Harvey, but Jacob DeGrom's my guy. Then Jacob mm -hmm. DeGrom became the best pitcher ever. But it, it's kind of like that in, in a smaller sense with the funny bone. Yeah, I was that way with the 15-16 uh, like Cubs. Edison Russell was my guy because mm -hmm. everyone loved yep. Brian Rizzo. But yeah, how'd, didn't that, work, how'd didn't, that work out? Didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just 260 in the Mexican league right yeah. now. Yeah, just tell him bad. <laughs> so that's probably the best thing about Edison him. Russell from the funny bone, please. I don't want him to come <laughs> in with my sweet funny bone. I'm thinking of Edison Russell and need funny bones. Um, all right, funny bone is off the board. Um, Clem, obviously, just since we don't have him, I, you know, it, it might get dinged because you could have had it a lot later. Definitely. But uh, I, I, you didn't know that, so not much you could do at this point. I like the pick, Clem, for you. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to uh, like keep that in mind. I, again, I don't know what's even out there or not out there, so I guess I'm just keep my board the same. Chief, have you ever had him? Because I know you I have not. Dabbling I've never heard of him. So. Okay. So they sell him at Stews. I don't think so. They might stick to maybe the bigger Drake cakes, or Stu just sticks with his own stuff. Which, yeah. by the way, we'll do a Stu Leonard trip when you guys are in town. So uh, we're gonna yeah, have, I'd uh, love that. I haven't been we probably in 25 years, but everything I remember about Stu's and it was in like Westport, Connecticut. I fucking loved that place. Best grocery best. store ever. Disney, Disney, 
at gross, uh, of grocery stores, basically. Yep. The uh, Chiquita Banana song, fire. Chiqui Chiquita Banana, and it's good for you. <laughs> um, all right, it's back to me. I'm, uh, I'm going to take a little Debbie item. I'm going to take uh, the thing that Nick Saban eats two of every morning, and I'm going to take the oatmeal cream pie. Mm. There's um, like the Entman's Donuts, most disgusting things on earth that are just brilliantly delicious. It's a good pick. I love OCPs. You you made it. Uh, uh, it's not, made it's uh, not for me. Yeah, but love to it. each their own. I don't. Yeah, I also the word's just kind of disgusting too. Well, of course it is. Well, like yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You so got it's image. I head. think the fact that Saban is on board and that's like he does it every day and he's the greatest coach who ever lived i think that really helps you did always sunny have a thing about cream pie being like a gross thing right i feel like that was it it, it definitely whenever i get it it's like i want to put this in my mouth this cream pie and just like oh god damn it <laughs> and i mean you're not gonna so you, you got something against that but you're not going to talk about dave's nutty bar uh doesn't bother me the same oh well. yeah sorry Little, this was my number two Little Debbie's on my big board behind the Christmas tree cake, obviously. It's my go-to if, if the Christmas trees are not in season. Um, there is a, kind of gives like a hint of bananas sometimes. I'm not, I don't really like bananas, so I, I don't like that. It's probably just something in the ingredients. And this thing can get you a little greasy if you don't watch out sometimes. You want to, like, it's the Little Debbie's doesn't spend as much money as Entheman, but the Little Bites, those things are always moist. There's some chemical in there that they do that'll keep you, get you a little greasy, but an absolute awesome thing. Yeah, I think, I don't know, to each their own when it comes to Little Debbie, but I think this is a lot of people's favorites, I, I would guess. Hmm. Uh, Carl, you, you seem to like the pick. I like the pick a lot because it's just super popular at several points in my life, like going back to Little League. It was the such a classic, like, post, you know, you're like 10 years old and just, like, crushing OCPs, and, like, somebody's mom's like, no, you can't eat that, so there's always extras at the end. Uh, and then such a cheap snack when you're in college and you just have like no money at all and you're at the fucking Walgreens on the corner trying to get some shit for the night or something and like there's just something about a little Debbie box that popped and the oatmeal cream pies were they're just so unique too mm -hmm. like you can't get that flavor profile in other parts of this draft it's not a chocolate based sweet it is kind of a cookie but it stands alone from cookies I like individual packaging it's good for packing for like a lunch it's just great. It's a great snack. Uh, was it their like answer to Oreos? I don't know. No. Or mm. what? Come on. But I'm I'm just saying like it's a cookie with cream in the middle, Dave. What do you mean? Like I'm I'm just I'm spitballing. I mean they're here. so different. Yeah, but, I mean, but that's it, my it, point. It, it it's like well, be, why uh, don't we make some yeah, of the sauce? Like that was the inspiration. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I wonder. Like an I wouldn't be surprised if because it is a sauce. It's first. a different color. It's bigger. It's different texture. It's softer. Different packaging, but the essence is still the same. Adam, I'm not afraid to say that you 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 know you yeah. White Sox Dave acts like I just told him fucking. I mean, just because I. I don't think there's any chance that. that I hope there like, fucking is. I'm gonna do a research paper on it if there is. <laughs> no, you I won't. love the thought of little Debbie walking into the boardroom with her fucking bonnet on, and she's flipping tables. We gotta answer these Nabisco motherfuckers. They're <laughs> killing us with the Oreo. They're killing us. And they're like, Deb. She's like, What do you want, fucking asshole? He's like, uh, Oatmeal with cream inside. She's like, All right, bingo. <laughs> And I There's got also a spinoff of this, which I don't know if I can say. Damn. There's another version of this that Little Debbie's does sell. I've never had it. Chaps always tells me about them. They're apparently like truck stops, which I don't have many truck stops here in New York. But they're apparently – I'll save it for maybe the okay. um, the end of the draft once it's over. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, all right, Chief, you are up. I'll take the Keebler Fudge Stripe cookies. So, again, this is – I don't know how this is going to play, but this is, a weak, this is a weak category for me. But these are the ones that I would pull out of the freezer – so you have the, like the little fudge chocolate underside, nice little clean bite. I think those are great. I like those little Keebler elves. I like the commercials. And I think the fudge stripes are like a kind of a class, almost in this, not like the double stuff category, but in terms of probably how much has been sold over the last 50 years, I bet you these are near the top. And I like those little fudge cookies. And they don't actually, they're like the one cookie for me that doesn't necessarily require milk either. Not a fan. No? No. I just Sometimes they're kind of dry, no? See, I don't think so. No, I. That's why I said I don't, I don't think you need the milk because you have really? that chocolate I, I underneath. The, oh, like these the, are brutal. Yeah, these stink. I, I like them. I think they're a little sawdusty, Chief. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just like sawdust, like kind of I, glued I, together. Yeah, but I think that's yeah. the thing with all packaged cookies. Like even Tate's, you can make an argue argument that they're 
they fall apart and they get crumbly and dusty. Yeah, but their sawdust flavor is a little more tasty than uh, I Keebler's. like. I like the fudge on the bottom. Clem. Ed, you you were with me at the dozen. I don't fuck with the elves that much. And listen, the Keebler elves, they're very good at what they do. I their their cookies are not great, and this is kind of their flagship cookie, if I had to guess. And it's just it's never been for me. I will say that that chocolate on the bottom helps it a little bit. But the kid that was bringing in the uh, the elf, uh, or no, what is this? This is uh, fudge stripe. I, I just think there's better options on the board. It is a chief pick. It's not on my chief draft, unfortunately. I'm over mm. two so far. Um, this might be feel considered slanderous as I look at this list more and more. So um, I hope I don't lose He's a friend. Prob- oh, I bet you I know I can guess one of the ones you have me down for. <laughs> I'll text it to I'm, you. I'm like so pick. intrigued. That I want to like. I don't care about the draft. I want to know what he guessed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, these look like trash. Did we we actually have them here. We Do we have them over there? Yeah, but I think like the the mini ones are better than the big ones. Put them in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. Do they collect dust there? Are they been sitting there since like you guys moved into the place? I think there's a lot of snacks them? like that over there. They yeah. just collect dust. Uh-huh. I uh huh. Like, who's your snack person? Peanuts. Uh, I I think it was Danny. Now it's Hannah. We were gonna have to have a sit down with her. Yeah, we had um, it was a big deal when Office Manager Brett ordered our snacks back at the first HQ, and there was like people were all putting their options in, and uh, I feel like you guys have to step that up. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, just a just a shitty ass pick, Chief. Oh. You're up again. They got oatmeal I'm cream ki- pie, kidding. ice cream in pint form, Little Debbie's. I might have to I check did that a, out. I did a full review of that. Yeah, if you guys want them, I did the full Little Debbie's uh, catalog. I think there was and eight Christmas, of them. They, and Christmas tree. I got I got to try these now. I yeah, have to Christmas try Christmas tree yeah, led with them, too. Christmas tree led with them, and then they released the rest of the ice creams. They were very good. And to get back to Eddie's pick, I believe their first cereal was the oatmeal cream pie cereals, mm, yeah. which I've never had. Um, Chief, you, you're up again. All right. I'm going to take the one thing that I don't think it takes a backseat to uh, Tate's. Um, it's the Pepperidge Farm chocolate chip cookie. I think that similar bag. Uh, I just think that's a, a better or right on par with Tate's as far as a chocolate chip cookie is concerned. I love a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> I haven't had many of these snacks that are in the grocery store, so I'm doing the best I can. I actually do genuinely like those, but they need, uh, we'll say, a full pint glass of milk. Yes, yes. If So I'm not positive I had the Tate's before. I've had these many times. A good cookie, but they have to be paired with milk. Have to be. But you are also a milk guy. I am. I very much so am. I, I've been thinking, like, everything that's been drafted so far, aside from maybe the oatmeal cream pie, I would dunk in milk. We're doing Thin and Crispies here, Chief? Is that what we're doing? I'm looking yeah. at the, um, yep. the farmhouse Thin and Crispy. Correct. Okay. I never had them, actually. Um, so I can't really comment. Carl, anything? Mm, it's okay. I like it. I mean, it's solid, steady. You're, you're, people will say, yeah, I know it. Now, will this take heat off of Carl for people thinking that he's chief after this pick, Clem? I would say I'm thinking of Chiefs Man. draft board looks like this. No, I think they're going to think this is Carl, no. <laughs> maybe. I think it might be fucking Freaky Friday going on right now. <laughs> Don't like that. Um, <laughs> we're going to be fine here. I Like I said, if this is a two-round draft, I'm not taking Oreos, but... I need I need character in the locker room. I need leadership and experience, and that's who the Oreo is. So, you know. Yeah. I just think in these kind of drafts, Chief usually – he always stays to his heart. I'm not going to say he doesn't, but he usually goes with something that's maybe fancy or just has a very good, solid brand name, and that's what the Carl picks were. Um, but this one's interesting. Here. See, I again, feel like Tate's – ter- if you did, like, put them next to each other, I feel like the Tate's cookie and the Pepperidge Farm thin, thin and Crispy are so similar. Should we have, like, a taste-off? Do like a blindfold. Which one's better? I would do that. Yeah. That would be that would be strong. Yeah, we that would should be do good. That. Let's do yeah. that. We should but, do I mean, that it, right you know, after the draft today, I, I, and then to give it. people some insight. I had a pop tart for the first time when we did Barstool Radio back in the day. So the, like we did a live. I'm going to try a pop tart. I just never had one in my life. Mm-hmm. So this is this is a little bit of a weak category. Yeah. No, I know. That's why like it's you can't really shit on it too hard. But um, yeah, especially so, since you haven't had this one. Yeah. It's been mentioned. Is that draftable? It's been mentioned just now. Well, I'm up and I'm eyeing it hard. So that's, oh, I would think that that would. No, oh, I. It never occurred to me that that would be on the list. You wouldn't say that it's a sweet snack. I think snack. you just slipped up. I. I 
Yeah, it, I, I, it's not. It. It's yeah. not where my brain was, but yeah. I don't think we should be using my brain as a point of reference on this draft. I agree. It's tricky because you would say, "Oh no, it's in the cereal aisle usually," and all this stuff. If you go to the aisle though, when you go to the, it's there's more desserty stuff in the pop tarts boxes. It's ice cream sundae flavors. It's cookie dough flavors. It's not even a fucking breakfast pastry. I'm as a as a purist, I'm kind of offended that they've gone this direction. Still love the brand, but I'm kind of upset that they've done it to it. But it's it's still fucking awesome. All these years later, that wasn't even the. I mean, we we were told by. This guy just had to be in the grocery store, non frozen aisle, or something like that. Yeah, and I talked with Eddie. I said there's a certain breakfast pastry out there that could cause a potential controversy, and yeah. I think it should be draftable. Yeah, I that's agree. 100% and that's draftable. truthfully, I'm not lying. This is what I was looking at it, my second pick, but I knew Chief wouldn't take it, so I, I held on it. Um, Pop Tarts are fucking great. Like, and there's so many flavors, so I'm taking Pop Tarts. Which yep. one? Well, this is what's tough too. Is I mean, I, I will pick one if I if I, I need you have to. to. I, yeah, because they're also different. Yeah, have to. Do you have think to. he? But let me ask you this though. Genuine question. Everyone, don't fly off the handle. But should Dave have chosen an antibasal bite? I picked blueberry. Oh, you, you did. Yeah. I didn't hear blueberry. that. I didn't yeah, hear yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't hear that. My apologies. I'll write that down. Um, it's because of me. I yelled and I said, "Oh, little bites!" But he did say blueberry. Yeah, people are gonna call me an old man, but I love the original. I love uh, cinnamon sugar. That's the one I don't like. Really? Brown sugar. Yeah. Brown, brown sugar. sugar. Yeah. Brown, brown sugar. cinnamon yeah. sugar. Yeah. I love, uh, I, I don't know. I know it's like a, like a fucking geriatric move, but uh, I don't really love um, the other most popular flavor at all, really. Mm -hmm. I like the frosting on that one more, but uh, there's something about the brown cinnamon sugar that I really like. So I'm going with the brown I've cinnamon sugar. I've never felt older because I remember when like the brown sugar felt like the new kid on the block kind of like oh shit you, your mom got you those today and it's probably been around since you know before i was born but oh is it not the og brown sugar i don't think so no i don't think so no Fuck. i mean there was there was a time where there was no frosted pop tarts which yeah is, it was, it like, was... sit on my kids knees i'll tell you about the old days <laughs> when we used to fucking get pop tarts for a nickel uh yeah there was it was no frosting and uh, KFC, another thing, KFC used to always reference to brown sugar as like the newer, more fierce version of stuff. Whenever he had to kind of make that comp, that was always the thing he'd bring up. So uh, I know that's close, near and dear to his heart. Yeah, I, I I don't know. Like I, it's definitely the most popular. Or maybe the the other one we're all thinking of is is right there with it. But um, yeah, I, I don't. I, People are very loyal to their pop tart flavors, though. There's so many good ones. Like it's not nothing anything against the other ones, but I don't know. Brown cinnamon sugar is my favorite. So frosted, of course. Obviously, I'm not a maniac. I don't think there's cinnamon. I think we're throwing brown cinnamon sugar. In. Cinnamon. It's just brown sugar. I don't think there's cinnamon. I think it's just brown sugar. Are you sure? I think so. I thought it was brown sugar cinnamon too, but I, I could yeah. be very wrong. Pop tart. Hold on. Carl, any comments? Yeah, I love a pop tart. I think uh, it is brown sugar cinnamon. Okay. Um, there in college, there were a couple of guys on the team that were like really into like maintaining weight and fitness and stuff, and they would house pop tarts before games or like on bus rides and stuff because it's they were saying like it's the most calories you can put in in such a short period of time, or not the most, but it's a very good source of just like pumping energy into your body. It's yeah. not good, but if you're like high metabolism and stuff, yeah, that's true. They so like people, I know that's like a snack for people with like. Uh, high anabolic rates or whatever which is kind of weird to think about that there's like people walking around with snack like pop tarts in their bags basically. yeah they're fucking horrendous for you like there's no there's no doubt about that they're really bad um but i like when they're toasted enough and the frost kind the frosting singes a little bit and it kind of and it kind of creates more of like a hardened cover where like just like it melts a little bit on the crust so i do like a little burn in my pop tart mm -hmm. i also feel i kind of feel like a or kind of like a savage if I eat it cold, but sometimes I like it cold. It's like pizza. You can't go wrong if it's hot, if it's cold. The Pop-Tart always fucking plays. I had plays. pizza for breakfast today. Want well, to know what I used to do, Clem, when I was real young? Did you really? Uh, yeah, I had a couple pieces when I walked in. Wow. Of course, they just staring me in the face. What am I supposed to do, not eat it? What time? Uh, 10, 15 maybe. Um, anyways, when I was real young, I used to toast them, and I used to just spread a little butter on the top. Wow. Yeah. That is a move. That's a move, all right. Very Be white trash, disgusting move, but it's a move. <laughs> and I used to pull it all the time. Have you tried the ranch dressing flavor ones yet, Dave? Is that a, is this a joke? No, I have not. No, yeah. I didn't know that existed. 
I the green one. Yeah, ranch dressing. The green, like I know it's just food coloring. It doesn't have a taste, but the green throws me off right there. I don't like that. No, yeah, Hidden Valley Ranch in the middle, Dave. I love ranch too. <laughs> I put ranch on almost everything. Uh, yeah, try them out. Go get them at the store near you, Dave. Um, oh yeah, pop tarts, brown sugar, cinnamon frosted is my pick. Climb your up. There's so many good options. It's like the Feidelberg. There's a bunch of first rounders. I feel like everything I have listed, I could take at any point. Now I'm trying to figure out what you guys do and don't have even in Chicago. There's no ranch pop tarts. I was kidding. What What was that green shit you were showing? Me? It was a Photoshop. Oh, it's like the um, the orange juice and toothpaste flavors and yeah. stuff like that. Like the Photoshop yeah. stands. Awesome. I got in trouble um, when I was really young because. <laughs> I wanted Ghostbusters toothpaste, and my mom said no, so I, I hid it under under shit in the cart, and she caught me, and she brought me to the counter and made them yell at me to like prove a point to me when I was like really really young. Try to get away with it, didn't work. I'm gonna go with a classic here. It's a classic. It has a look to it. There was actually a um, I was in the city the other day, and there was a place they had a cake. And it had the like the same exact look on it, and I was like, man, I don't even know if that cake would be good, but the fact it has that that look to it made me feel like it could be good. And I'm talking the Hostess cupcake. I'm talking the chocolate cupcake, and it has the little vanilla swirls with the little loops. Um, I'm not a huge cupcake guy. I feel like they're too big, and like if you're getting them from a bakery, but they have made them fairly sized, little cream in the middle, and again, that it's an iconic, iconic design on top of the cupcake. And I just like the way to have it on my graphic. It plays, it looks pretty. We have the, we have a Christmas tree. We're going to Funny Bones for the people that probably don't know what the fuck they are. And then we're doing the Hostess cupcake. The top I, for the, I like, I hope that comes across in the visual, but like, or on the YouTube, but you just sitting there with your eyes closed, like visualizing. <laughs> you were like, <laughs> it's like, like you're getting a hummer from under the desk. This is how the graphic is gonna look. <laughs> and just a little grin on your face. It was beautiful, Clem. It was like, a moment of serenity. Yeah. Um, on that note, I think those things completely fucking blow. No, really? I don't like them. Really? No. They're so bland. No, dude. Those are fucking Moist. awesome. Yeah. That I was I don't like also a contention right there for me to pick a clump, so I'm right there with you. I they think are it's a great aesthetically pick. pleasing, like he said, though. Like that little that simple true. design. Like yeah. it's it are, everyone knows it. Everyone knows what that is. Yes. So are you in on these? Yeah, Hostess goes the extra mile, puts that little square uh, uh, fucking cardboard underneath the cupcake to, to maintain the structural integrity. Got to appreciate that. Yes, good You know what? Carl, that is yeah. a really good point. <laughs> I still this don't really I like them. Guys. That's a great call. Um, no, I love the pick, Clum. I think this is a I – was, I was hoping to get it in the fourth round. So – I remember we did the candy draft, and I think Carl mentioned something about how like the <laughs> the Reese's peanut butter cups sweat a little sometimes, and I was like, that's 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 the like that's the that's why I know I'm fucking amongst fellow snack connoisseurs here is just little things like that. But Thank you. Do you guys remember the commercial where it was like a, a chubby lady sitting in a tube and yeah. the shark, and it had the little hostess yeah. swirl, and the shark goes to eat yeah. by her ass. Like that's it's, it's it's an iconic thing that I don't think we realize is as big as it is because I think everyone kind of has a warm feeling in their stomach when they see those little swirls. I feel like there could be like someone from Hostess. I feel like there's probably an unwrap where Mark Summers talks about those swirls with someone who worked for like Hostess PR once upon a time. By the way, great show for anyone who doesn't watch. Unwrap, oh, I love it. Great snack show, all time great. It really is. I that's a great commercial too. Uh, no, these are and then also speaking of the cardboard, there's always the worst when like a little bit too much would get stuck on the cardboard. Mm. You know? Oh yeah, and then you got like, like the, yeah, like the yeah, Reese's curse on the, yeah, yes. on the paper. Yes, yeah. exactly. And you lick the yeah, but no, yeah, I you think have to more, lick it, it, more bite, of a right? scrape with the teeth than it is. Yeah, a lick. scrape. That's yeah. the word. Uh huh. Scrape. I love it, Clum. Great pick. Uh, White Sox, Dave. I'm going with what would be my two A. Little Debbie snack. Yeah, two A. Sorry, I was I was making sure it wasn't trapped or I thought it might have been. I'm going zebra cakes. There it is, Clum. Debate it, is. it. Debate it, Clum. Tell them why the Christmas tree is better. I understand the Christmas tree. That's why I said 2A. I think they're neck and neck, but Christmas tree probably edges it out a little bit by like I, a hair. I can't speak ill of the zebra cakes. My wife is somewhat in, you know, hearing distance in me. So she, if I do that, um, I'll get in trouble. She has to deal with a lot of enough stuff with this job. She's enough to deal with slander of her favorite little Debbies. I actually, I'll go the other direction, Ed. Going double Debbies 
is a risky move. It's a risky move because it's it's a budget play here, and it's a, not triple nut level of risky move, <laughs> but double down. No, I'm I'm good for now on. I already know what I'm drafting next. Nothing it will ever get, be it triple. It won't nut. even get sniffed. <laughs> Who did that? The cheap cheap did that? Yeah, he dude. Nut. He took fuck. Who do you think? Macadamia. No. What Macadamia. It was Macadamia, and Peanut, and almonds. cashews. No, no I, I, don't, cashews. I don't like cashews. Yeah. Oh, pistachio. Pistachio. Like pistachio. Pistachio. Yeah. And we kept thinking he was gonna draft like the best one. We're like, it's the bow tie. This, and then the cashews went in like the fourth fucking round of the draft. I don't like cashews. People. That was it. Where were you when Chief went triple nut? Classic moment. <laughs> Classic. Um. Yeah, good pick. I mean, literally the same echoes for what the Christmas tree was. So it's just a hair, not as good. Yeah, I would say. Mm-hmm. The zebra looks cool as shit too. I think he's wearing sunglasses on the box and stuff. Like he fucking parties. Yeah, that guy, that guy gets Chester fucked Chita. up. Don't get those two together. No, you're dude, gonna you're having you're five in the morning. You are either having the absolute time of your life with those two, or you're getting arrested or dying. Of like an alcohol <laughs> overdose. <laughs> no in between. Um, no in between. All right, the zebra kicks off the board. Carl, you're up. Carl's been thinking about that Oriole pick the last like 20 minutes that we've gotten around this. No, game, I, so. I really, I mean, the Oriole pick's solid. The Oriole pick's very solid. I stand by the Oriole pick, Clem. It's a good pick. I just think you knowing that you could have had in the fifth round might be sticking in your head. That's no, it absolutely is. It's absolutely in my head right now. But Thank you. there is something to say about the graphic. When you do have the Oreo as the last pick, people are like, it almost hurts you sometimes where it's like, it's a shame that I got drafted so late, even if it was by you. Yeah, how'd this guy let it go so late? Um, okay, I'm going to take my number one soft. I'm just going to heavy cookie. I'm looking at the board. Clem, no cookies. Eddie, no cookies. You know, Chief, heavy cookie. Carl, heavy cookie. <laughs> I, but this is the strategy, right? We say sweet snacks, but I mean, like, Dave's making a nice run on Little Debbie. Do I want to go dip my feet into the Little Debbie tank now and then and then just lose to Dave in the Little Debbie comparison, or do I want to stick to my guns? I feel like Texas Tech here in, like, the, the early 2000s, just running five <laughs> wide receivers out there, and that's fine. We're just going to fucking do it. Chips Ahoy, Chewy Chips Ahoy. I'm going to take my number one Chewy. Uh, the problem, the only problem with this is I'll eat, I'll eat the whole bag. The whole bag in one sitting. There's no these things do not survive. The red bag. I hate the red bag. I, Can I, I just say that? I think Chips Ahoy on a whole stinks. Great. I disagree. I just, there's something like uh I don't know, it's like it's you like You don't a, like the red bag or yeah, do you, do like, you like the cookies or you're saying you don't like the I don't love the cookies. I'm not I'm not mm-hmm. like I don't but I don't it's not like I'm gonna con them here, but I just like there's something it just looks like it's playing a, a different team's uniform. You know? That's I just don't <laughs> <laughs> I know that's fucking crazy. Yeah, but it's, I like them. So when I see the red bag, it's like a sigh of relief because I just don't like the blue ones at all. I, between the two, I don't even think it's a comparison in the product. Really? Yeah, I love the Chewy Chips Ahoy. I che- lo- Chewy I, Chips Ahoy is so good to me. I like the blue I, I a lot. Love, I love Chewy. Really? Yeah, I like yeah. the blue a lot. Whatever. I'm not going to say too much more about that. But I don't, do you get what I'm saying? Is that stupid? It's like they're when it's the red versus the blue bag. You I see- feel like you need Eddie. I mean, they do the same with Nacho versus Cool Ranch. What are we talking about here right now? I feel like that's it's perfectly acceptable. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Clem. I don't know. I know. I- so, do you like the, that Oreo keeps everything blue? Yes, no I do. No matter what, I do. Uh, I guess they don't. They don't. There's other Oreos. Yeah, they don't. No. So. I mean, the double oh, stuff. Yeah, double yeah, stuff yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're right. Is double stuff purple? I, I, no. That's how I remember it. No, there's a no, little. They just have a magenta logo yeah maybe I, I don't know there's some it's just too much of a contrast red and blue mm-hmm. but uh yeah they got a little it's mostly blue with a little purple good third rounder though the wildest thing is i went on it years ago i was like man chewy chips ahoy crushes all chips ahoy thinking i'm just gonna get likes and virtual dick sucking everyone's like fuck chewy there is a contingent a strong contingent of people in it who hate chewy chips ahoy yeah. and i hate those people yeah. i love them they're my favorite chew they're there's other probably chewy ch- cookies that I probably like more, but you're not going to find them in any single grocery store. You're going to find the Chewy Chips Ahoy anywhere in this country, and I love them. I do think they've been shrinking them on us slowly but surely. Ooh. I don't know if you guys mm. agree on that with that take, but I do feel like they've been – maybe I'm just getting bigger. It's that's a, that's no, a definite potential uh, option as well. So I didn't want to say you brought up, Clem. Um, I would put the data around – 
I mean, I hate to tie it to the financial crisis, but my memory just brings me back to 08, 09 and, and getting a bag and, and just really understanding that the product had changed a little bit. But things had changed for a lot of people around that time, and I didn't want to complain. So I think I put it in the back of my head. And uh, now that you bring it up, it's like, yeah, that, that product's been different for about 14, 15 years, boys. Really has. You're right, Carl. You're really? fun. You're, again, connoisseur. You're right. The, the, the taste might have changed a little. It's gotten smaller. And I, if I get a pack right now, I haven't gotten a pack in a few years. After COVID and the fucking inflation, I might just might be just chips in there, just chocolate chips. They're just going to be giving me. <laughs> yeah, it's the first the product. Thing. And Bisco's right here. Or, uh, yeah, the first <laughs> product. They're just uh, okay. We get it. We yeah, we're good. Any? Chips Ahoy, Chewy is off the board. Um, you're up again, Carl. It's like, I think they could be regional, so I'm going to go national powerhouse here. I'm going to go national powerhouse. There's, there's one right in front of everybody's face. I mean, I cannot believe that I'm going to be the first guy to take a Pepperidge Farm product. I took Oh, no, he took one. Oh, yeah, he took yeah. one. The cookies. Thin and crispy chocolate. Oh, so you took thin and crispy. Yeah. yeah, okay. That just went in one ear. No, no offense to thin and crispy, but the Milano's. I'm taking Milano's. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, no. Who doesn't look? They're bland. Bro, I, I, Milano's? I love Milano's. That's fine. Those I'll are like the, the wafers, right? If I lose a draft on Milano's, they're that's like fine. I love the, Milano's. They're like long. With a little yeah, chocolate yeah, yeah. in the middle. Yeah. A Climb, run, run out the tunnel for Milano's, or are you not going to? I'm cool with Milano's. Uh, you're going like the OGs, right? Like the regular Milano's? No, double chocolate. I like them. I've, I've double chocolate. Milano's. They're Mr. Portnoy. Mr. Portnoy is now in my brain whenever I hear Milano's, which is a yeah, good that's thing. Right. We all love Mr. Which Portnoy. Which he never liked them. No, I. Oh, that's right. He never liked them, but he always ate them. I forgot. <laughs> he ate them for like that's 30 years. I got to bounce back. I got to bounce back. I got to bounce back and make an argument for Milano's that, right now. That's like one of my favorite <laughs> stories of all time, yeah. where he had them for breakfast every day for 30 years, and he was just like, I never liked them. <laughs> but, I, but that's what Milano's does to you. It's like... They're, They're just an all-purpose there. cookie. They get a, no. You can. They, you don't need to be eating Milano's after. It's not a dessert only. It, that's you see a Milano and no, the I fanciness know. of yeah. it allows you to attack it throughout the day. But you'll never be like, all right, like fuck that. You'll always eat one. That's the thing about fucking Milano's. Like Mr. Portnoy, they just put him in front of his face and he had no choice. Milano's back you into a corner like that, dude. I like the bag. I like the way they feel. I like the texture. Double chocolate. Don't Give me the double discount chocolate. The Milano. bag. Don't discount the bag. It's the same fucking family as the as the goldfish bag. That bag has integrity. Can I don't I, know how it's so good. It has such great integrity. Though. Can I, I discount the bag? I guess so. I mean, <laughs> you reach in and you're grabbing a million papers. It's like a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many papers. How are you reaching in there, Ed? I mean, Jesus Christ! Just fucking dig in, dude. Are you fist in this bag. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie fucking Milano in there. <laughs> Eddie Fisty. Here comes Eddie. Uh, okay, no, that's it. Um, I also think there are some people at this company who refer to certain taste buds in this room as raccoon. Like, I didn't say it. And if you look at the board, there are some raccoon boards here, though. There's really? Some, yeah, there's some cheap boards. I, I think I would Tate's say. Tate's and Milano's. I mean, I'm, I've got, I'm, I'm middle upper class. You're a fancy boy right board? Now. Yeah. You, this is back to being Chiefs draft. I think you're looking at this. <laughs> this is fucking Chiefs slander. <laughs> I this is no, slander. I have, I have Everyone tries to, to put me fit. in this box because I took burrata one time, which Delish Magazine said it was the summer, the, sa the salad of the summer this year. That doesn't even, that doesn't make sense. That yeah, what? Some staff writer at Delish yeah. Magazine. I'm just saying, you guys yeah. said it wasn't, yeah. a, it wasn't a summer food, which it absolutely was. No, anyways. it's just that, like, anyway, anyway, I don't want to relitigate that, but I'm just saying, like, I, I don't, I'm not on board with really any of Carl's picks, so I don't, I, that's just not me. It's not me. Chief, what not, was the name of the cereal you took at the last round? It was purely Elizabeth. It's it's more of a granola, if I'm being honest. But Is she the one like, with the nice tits? It's a digestive. No, product. that's like the, my produce girl. She's got great. Rack. She's like so hot. <laughs> she is. She's. It's a cartoon. So hot. We're talking about the cartoon. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're no, that's about just. The cartoon. I gotta check this cartoon. I'll oh, send it to we, you. Can we do a draft of cartoons? We like you know, bonk, like a bonk cartoon draft. Yeah. Uh, Where does you yeah. just said Mr. Ra uh, Roger Rabbit? Where does she rank like Lola Bunny to Ursula? I, wow! I would marry this card. This is this is not this what's is not. Name? What's the name? I'm blanking the brand? on her name. Um, Hot cartoon produce girl. What's it called? I used Hentai? to like, and she would like. Hentai, yeah. I would like tweet about it, and then like the brand would be like, "Sup." 
Like this is back in like 2016. <laughs> but now on. I can't. Um, oh, I, I know. I it's in my head. I, I'm, I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up. I'll we'll pull it up and we'll Google keep it yeah. moving. But I do like Milano's uh, again. Milano's <laughs> are. <laughs> Should we do a draft within a draft and just pull the rip this cartoon one right now? And people are going to see a seven hour draft. You're like, what the fuck did the boys get into? Yeah, exactly. Right? Just a fucking. Does Nala get drafted in the fuckable cartoon draft? A thousand percent. People is... are still like, oh, you're horny for Nala. That's not ever what I said. I said she gave Simba fuck me eyes, and that's yeah. what she did. Fuckable I, cartoon draft. I have a tweet out there too, Dave. I probably multiple. Tweets. Oh, I'm and and on running. that note, some random stoolie was DMing me from like 2012 2000 like years and years ago of all the barstool people that said nala's a smoke show gaz that little weasel had like a dozen of them i'd fuck nala i'd fuck nala i'd fuck nala i never said that i never said nala's hot i never said anything like that i said she looked at simba and was like telepathically saying i want you to fuck me right now in that one scene which is exactly what happened Okay. Anyone who says not true is lying. <laughs> White Sox, Dave, you're up. Um, I need a cookie on board. I'm going Mrs. Field chocolate chip cookies. Good. Chief, I, I I I I've only ever had it in like the mall at the airport, so I don't I don't know. I can't comment on like the prepackaged ones, but I like Mrs. Fields in in the mall. These are solid. Yeah. Yeah, they're solid. They're solid. Solid, Dave. Dave. I got a great last pick coming up, and I know it's going to get shit on, but I don't care. Dave, fucking solid, bro. Yeah, that's all you can say about it. Solid. 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 Clem, you're up. Nice role player. I'm going solid. I'm going a little diversification, as the Wu-Tang Clan would say. We're going to diversify our board here, and we are going to go Rice Krispie Treats. Rice Krispie Just standard? We're going to go standard. Yeah, we're going to go blue bag. um, No. no I don't like my... My toppings and my treats. This is something that if you're getting it at a bake sale, has a little extra oomph to it with a little bit of love and whatnot. But once they started mass producing these motherfuckers, game was changed. I think they stink mass produced. Yeah. I think they're, I love them when like your mom makes them, but like in that little shiny Even blue package, not, like, I think they're. No, Clem, they're good. It's a great pick. It yeah. somehow slipped my board, but. Um, Ugh. There was like three different, like I started a list, then I like went back to it. I was like, oh fuck, I forgot double stuff. Like how the fuck did I do that? And then the third time I was like, oh shit, I forgot uh, Rice Krispie Treat. And if my board was different, I might not have gone with them. I think they're great, but I'm, I got three cakes here. I'm cake heavy right now. I got tons of cake. I got Cookie Boy at the end of the draft, just loading up on cookies. I got to kind of diversify a bit here. So I'm going to throw the treats in, which is the other thing about the Rice Krispie Treats. They're kind of a standalone genre right it's like what the fuck is a rice krispie treat we have cakes you have cookies you have all this stuff and then you just have the rice krispie treat yeah i i love it that's great value in the fourth round too carl you're a, you like these right it's josie's organics no? i josie's. i i think it's a great fourth round pick i had yeah. it on the board oh, damn um I, the product I should have called itself. you cookie carl damn it i'm sorry yep cookie car two cookie carl <laughs> five cookie <laughs> carl the um the problem, I mean, Chief wow. addressed the problem. Ma- the mass production of it, you know, is it real marshmallow? The difference between it made at home. Why? What's wrong? We're Joe's, just, Joe's your Organics. We're oogling it. She's, she's Joe's a organic. fucking rocket ship. She's a fox. She can squat. Oh, that's the tit, that's tit lady? She, yeah. She's more just like slender and like you just want to wipe her up. Yeah, she's a little potato sack cartoon. <laughs> yeah, I love her. Joe's Organics. Potato sack, throw her over your shoulder and just bring her on home to mom and dad. Yeah. I've seen Josie before. This is uh, like Portnoy's thing. What is um? It's the what do you say about Fran? Fran, it's like the the girl you take to the farmers market. Farm right? stand, Fran. Yeah. You take to the farm the mm-hmm. farmers market. Josie's a beautiful young lady. Nice blue shoe. Um. All right, it's to me. Yep. Blue shoe. Damn, dude. There's four. There's five that I really like left. Do you have a big board left, Chief? I'm genuinely curious. I have a couple left, and I'm trying to decide which direction I want to go. I have one, and it, you guys better not shit talk it. Oh, oh watch out. <laughs> I just don't. I'm just in a position. I just don't. I don't know, though. Are people really, am I really going to get docked because I don't have a cookie? I don't think that's how this works. Uh, that's not for you to decide. Yeah. So Why don't you just take is. what's at the top of your big board? Well, is, I got like four that are all like pretty, pretty neck and neck. Um, <clears throat> I got to, I'm just going to take the icon. 
it's it's the fucking Twinkie. Like, are we like are we gonna sleep on the Twinkie that hard? So Twinkie doesn't are you have a passionate pl- about it. I mean, yeah, dude, it's a Twinkie. It's it's Twinkies gross me out. That's why it's not. Don't they have favorite. like a hundred year shelf life? We've talked about this very recently. It does not. Right? Didn't we talk about this like three think, weeks ago? I think that we? they have found them from like the seventies and they eat them and you're fine. Yeah, but and they still they're still moist. Like there's so much like chemicals and preservatives. We and talked. Fake about, shit. I swear, like a month ago, we talked yeah. about Twinkies, and you said that you had one from like yeah 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 which sucked when they went. Yeah, it was not. It didn't. didn't that's hold not up. true. Yeah, I, I think it's a. It's fi- an urban I mean, it's legends. a fine pick, but Google like says. depending on your. But it's an icon. I get it. It's on the board. Makes sense. But yeah. we're at, we're in the we're making the sausage right now, and I'm not. You're not really like selling. Like you're, all you're doing is just saying I'm taking Twinkie. So what reaction fabulous, do you want from me? Fabulous mascot. Okay. Cowboy yes. hat. Now talk, talk to me about good. flavor Cowboy boxing. Hat. Very good box. I'm, I mean, I like cornbread. Is it the only so, one on our list with two at a time? No, Nutty Buddy's two at a time, too. And cupcake. But no, does Twinkie come in twos or one? One. I mean, Twinkie one is now. one. Yeah, Twinkie's Twinkie is one. Twinkie's wow. one. Is that like a... Almost said it. Didn't Mandela it, effect where I just. Yeah. No, I mean, I like cornbread and like, I don't know. Like I, I genuinely, I, this isn't a pan you're picking for this. I'm being cake, but it's like, it's, it's like a. There is it, no corn in that. It's a very similar. Than a I bet you there is cornbread. Sure. Corn there, syrup. There, yeah. There's yeah. a derivative of corn. High fructose you corn syrup. Like, yeah. I was, well, you're going to make me defend the fucking Twinkie. I just want you to talk about like I why you gross. enjoy a Twinkie or where so, a Twinkie yes. plays on your board. Or why, why are, at what time well, in your I, life are you reaching for a Twinkie? I literally said it's an icon. It's definitely. Like I haven't had a Twinkie in a long time, but okay, it's it's a young man's game, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Like, but it is, but it's but it's still it's still the fucking Twinkie. Like it's a number one insult uh, cake. You know what I mean? Go have another Twinkie. Yeah, you know, like mm, it's that's uh, a good point too. It's it's culturally like you yes. say Twinkie and you get it. Yes, exactly. That guy had too many Twinkies. You know, like it's the fucking Twinkie. Did they cancel the Twinkie day? Are we not allowed to say that anymore? Probably not. Won't stop me though. The Minnesota Twinkie. Go another Twinkie <laughs> chief. It's rude. Yeah, I don't know. That's the fucking Twinkie, man. The cream filling, like they they pay- put the holes in the bottom because yeah. I think that's where they they infuse the cream. It's a hole puncher. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you for. I, I just want to talk more about the yeah, Twinkie. I know, that's I know. it. Just coming in here and saying it's an icon. It, I haven't had it in years either, and it's still on the board. And I think Visually it's pleasing. Thing. Visually pleasing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, there is a double pack of the Twinkie. I believe probably if you buy those at like the, the gas station or something. But I think if you get them in the box, like you're bringing them home, they're single. But I think if you get them at like the grass sta- gas station, you get them in, in a double pack, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Twinkie the Kid is the name of the mascot. Another Stu Leonard's thing that I think is gone now. You hit it, the button and go, ha, I'm Twinkie the Kid. Absolutely delightful thing. And the Twinkie is something that I think we love the idea of more than we love actually eating. Is that fair to say? Like, remember the internet? They, they, the Twinkie was one of the things that got that got killed. The internet brought it back with the outrage. And then I don't think anyone ever ate a Twinkie again. And whoever, like, hostess is just taking a bath because they don't want to do it. They, but the Choco Taco should not have been ever killed. And I'm fucking still mad about it. Now, here's what I think happened. I think the Twinkie's good. And I think a lot of people like the Twinkie. But I think... I believe the Twinkie was one of the first ones, one of the OGs. I think it's just better things got made after that. And then, like, the, it, it was the a Twinkie. pioneer. Yes. It's the Frito of snack cakes. Thank you. I don't Bob. think a lot of people eat Fritos anymore, but it, it just gives you a happy feeling seeing them. Yes. They're still around. When, they, when Frito-Lay gets rid of Fritos, I'm going to be sad. Yes, exactly. Yeah, We couldn't have fucking Twinkie the Kid next to Jeffrey the Giraffe in the fucking graveyard. It yeah, would have been too much. Chief, you're up. So I got three left on my board, and two of them are very chief picks. I'm excited for the sheet, the unveiling, <laughs> Clem. And then there's another one. I'll, I'll take this one, but I want to do the caveat that I want to have brownie bites, okay? But the ones that I get are just like the, the generic grocery store brand, and Entenmann's does, like, that would be the like the more wide. I don't know how to do, like, a clear plastic I know what you mean. brownie yeah, thing. Just from the, yeah. the bakery. Yeah, so I feel like I have to take Entenmann's brownie bites, but I would not typically get them. I would get the ones that are just made in the grocery store, but there's no way to put that on the graphic. So I feel like I have to take the Entenmann's just brownie like bites. Just like Jewel brand or Mariano's yeah. brand. Yeah, just would, go with Entenmann's. It's Entenmann's little, brownie bites. Yeah. But, I, you know, I but I feel like that's a little disingenuous because I don't really – Get those when I it's get okay. them. It's, okay, all right. No one will think less of you. I promise. I nah, I feel a little dirty about it. The people who listen to the show and don't just look at the picture, mm-hmm. they will know. 
All right, harvest. so then what do you think about the brownie bites then? I think Excellent. the little bites are just so much better. So like the like the the blueberry and the other flavors, I just okay. like those a lot more. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not into those, but um, but they're good. Yeah. Anybody else? I I have no I I hope people don't give you any shit for the store brand cuz I think that's perfectly fine. I'll so is that what you got or did you take the Entenmann's? I got I Eddie said to take the Entenmann's, but um I mean, what you want me to write store bought I, I don't brownies, know. brownie bites? Yeah, like, just, I, I don't, I don't. But like that would be the more authentic pick. Would be to take the the clear plastic Mariano's yeah, just, brownie bites. Just don't put store bought. Just put brownie bites and like send them a picture of Mariano's. Yeah, so, I, I, this is from the aisles, Kinjack. right? So yeah. I don't think this is. I don't think like the bakery at Mariano's qualifies. For That's this. true too. That, there is like a gray area where why it's you in the grocery it's in, store. It's in. So the what do you want me to say? Like, Mariano's um, six count uh, butter milk cookies. You like, know what? How about this? I'll go to a Mariano's and take a picture of it and send it to you, and then you can rule. No, I mean I believe it. I know. Yeah. I, 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 I know I, exactly I, I picture it about. in my head. Yeah, yeah. but it's in that same aisle. It's in that same aisle. It's not at the bake the bakery counter. Yeah. So this to me is like. A branded grocery store. Thing. Well, then, then that's why I said the Entenmann's thing. But I don't ever eat those. I eat the other ones. So um, that's where I was having a little personal dilemma. So if you, like, I guess I'll just take the Entenmann's. But I think the other one's better. Uh, and then the last one is. I feel like this is going to be the time where I'm on Clem's, Let's go. Clem's board. Let's go. I'm I don't want to go over. It's going to hurt me. I'm taking those little Bischoff cookies that you have with the coffee. You mm. put. You know what? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're great. Was they're, that on? You usually get them on airplanes, right? Yeah, yeah American yeah. Airlines. Hands yeah, out. Um, also a casualty in 2008. But th I think those are great, and that to me, like you know, Mr. Portnoy having Milano's for 30 years for breakfast. If he had the Bischoff cookie for 30 years with his coffee, his life would have been a lot happier because that is a good cookie, and it is it is like the American. Is it American Airlines? I've definitely had it on a on a plane before, but just there's like this little place over by me. It's like an Austrian, like little Miele's meal, meal, something like that. It's right over on Southport and you just go there for a coffee and they give you those cookies and they are so fucking good. I love those cookies. The little Bischoff cookies. I tried a Zaza's cookie this morning. Oh, who buddy? Yeah, that's good stuff. Good. Really fucking good. Uh, Biscoff. Yeah. I mean, if I'm on an airplane, Is that how you it's pronounce it. Biscoff. Is it Bischoff or Biscoff? I think it's Biscoff. No, it might be. I don't know. Anybody know? I think you're both wrong. It's some like French word or something. I'm pretty Bisco. sure. Like Bichol or something. Maybe. But I'll take that. And I have one for honorable mention, but I, I know won't get picked, but I'll <laughs> circle back to it later. Um, okay. Biscoff. Uh, yeah. If I'm on an airplane, it's great. If I'm not on an airplane, I don't want to be anywhere near it. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, you won't have it with a cup of coffee. You let it get a little moist, get the steam going on there. Like that's the way to eat it. That's very, very good. I think there's good. a better coffee product. I disagree. That was made for coffee. I feel like if you look it up, the, it'll describe, it'll tell you to eat it with coffee. How often do you have it with coffee? I mean, I don't eat any of these. So, but I would say I've pr I probably have this a couple times a year. Hmm. Okay. To me. I will. It's ginger ale and Biscoffs. Just put me on a plane, baby, and I'm going to rock with those every single time. That's plain. <laughs> I guess ginger ale you could also have when you're sick. Where it's like, oh man, I got a fever. I have, I'm stomach ache, but at least I get to drink two gallons of ginger ale. You know what? There's I don't just like no that. way that that even works. Like the, exactly. You know, no, every, just, everybody's mom says it. Though. Yeah, because I think probably their moms, when they were giving them ginger yeah. ale, had actual ginger in it, which was an anti-inflammatory. So it made sense back then. Now it's just like here's some sugar, ginger flavored mm -hmm. sugar yeah. water, carbonated. On the note of plain beverage consuming, I hate how they pour it into the little half cups, and you have to have it in your hand until you finish it. Why do they do that? Just give you a bottle. It's bullshit, Dave. Isn't it bullshit? Uh, okay, Biscoff off the board. It's to me. There's two I'm fucking really between. This is hard. This is hard. Um, I, I'm just going to go with Chips Ahoy Original. I know you said there's varying opinions, but I like them. They remind me of fucking Rugrats. Angelica would fucking pull these out of the cookie jar. Just, she was such know. a little hoe. She was what? just mean. She was awful. Yeah, she's awful. Mean. Uh, but it's just, I don't know. There's something about them that I, that I just, I like. They're they are classic. That's hate it. Them. I don't like them either. I hate them. I hate I Chewy. Like I know. Clem, you, you don't like them or you do? I'm not a fan. I've never been a fan. I feel like they were, they, I think they kind of, they probably were huge 
because when there wasn't a lot of stuff around. But I think as cookies have as cookie technology has uh, evolved over the years, it's not the same. Um, but I'll tell you, you're going to have a lot of people who love them. They ride for them. So yeah, I think it's a good fifth rounder. I just hope I don't yeah, regret taking my other one. Good pick, great value. The cookie itself, don't really care for it. But as Clem says, the people that are passionate. I mean, this is it's a fucking Walmart cookie that they sell for. You know, they'll do like the value package thing where you can get like 20 fucking bags of it for one of those large boxes for like twenty ninety nine, And there's just a lot of people out there that grow up eating it. Just like, mm-hmm. you know, you go in the pantry and there's a full sleeve of those things at all times. Uh, personally, yeah, no, I think they're absolutely gross. Climb you're up. That's Cookie Carl saying that too. The guy loves cookies. I'm going to go um, off on here. This is tricky, but I got to take it. I got to stay loyal to my brand here. And I'm going to take the rainbow cookie. Now, I don't know if you want me to send you. There's the rainbow cookies. You get them in the pack. It's like a three pack of them. They've kind of mass produced them. I'm talking about, and for Ken Jack with the graphic, very specific. I'm talking the rainbow cookie. It's three colors. You have the chocolate around it. I need the ones that have the little chocolate sprinkles because they are so much better than the the ones that look like you're known to made them. They're not as good as the mass produced stuff. They just aren't. Or this exact brand. So there's a special one I have in mind. If you want to do store brand like our boy Chief, where they come in the little container, they're fucking, they're more expensive per pound than like platinum. They're crazy money. <laughs> but uh, I don't even know what jelly that is or jam. It's like a raspberry, I suppose. But it is by far my favorite cookie. Um, we do a cookie scale on We Gotta Believe whenever Cookie Carrasco pitches of how well he pitched. And if Cookie Carrasco goes eight innings, two hits, no earned. That is a fucking rainbow cookie in my book. It's as good as it gets for me. Did you? Sorry, did you say there is a brand that I could write or no? Yeah, there is. I'll, I'll send it to you. Um, they do have them. I just don't know if you guys have them out there, but they have them. They're pretty consistent over okay. here. Um, people, are not there. So- people will know but, by seeing it. Yeah, so. yeah, for sure. And if not, you could give me the store brand in the thing, but it's very specific. Chocolate sprinkles on top. Not the really long ones. They're kind of more of a square, the one I'm talking Yeah, about. these are good, Clum, but you know just by far out of the 25 that are on this board, this is going to be the least likely consumed, right? Like the least consumed. This and Funny Bone, apparently. Yeah. I'm going niche what? with my two. If Clem gets left off the... <sighs> oh, that would hurt. That would be a would tough way to one. end the trilogy. Oh, wow. That would be something. Porno would not like that. <laughs> Heading into the new season, that doesn't. I'm scared everything. for that now. That's a good, that's a new storyline. It, it, I I would be shocked. It's all good though, because I might completely tank my draft at this, but I don't give a fuck. What are you taking, Dave? Strawberry banana yo play yogurt. I fucking could eat gallons of that shit. <laughs> no, dude, you didn't just take it. You're you taking yogurt. You didn't just take yogurt. Dairy it's product. A snack. Why is it, why that snack doesn't have to be segregated to That's, cookies and shit I mean, like then that. should I have gone and taken fucking you could uh, have, Granny Smith apple? I don't think it plays. What the fuck are you talking about? You said snacks in a grocery store. I mean, not we gotta food. put it on the graphic though. There's uh, there's no I way. I don't think it plays. I mean, how do you gotta, what gotta let people? We I have want to let somebody. I'll say how about, how about this? Taken it, I was thinking of taking fruit too because I don't eat any of this shit. Yeah, but I tried to keep within the spirit of the draft. Dude, we're not consuming this all the time either, Dave. Like, I, mean, I don't know why you like every time you circle back. I don't eat that. Like, dude, it, it's yeah, it's just a draft. Eddie like, has never a in small the history of the show been the first one. Meals or has never been the first one to person. veto. <laughs> Eddie, do you veto? You've never vetoed. Here's yeah, my he's, thing. He's here's, middle man no, here's my thing where it's like I just don't. Like, it goes more into the frozen one that I want to do at some point too. I know it's not frozen, but like. Then you should have you should have specified. I, Take the yogurt, Dave. Take you get yogurt. Take the yogurt. What is what kind? Yo plate what? Strawberry banana. All right. You said Dave snacks, gets not plate. in the frozen section. An apple is a snack. Dave gets your plate. Yeah, but what? It's yeah. a snack. No, it's fine. Uh, debate, debate it. Go ahead. Floor is yours. You know, all right. So, I mean, if we're going to do the game of like which one of these doesn't belong, it's the fucking yogurt. No shit. So, like, I mean, so not, we've it's done not the that draft. it doesn't belong. It's that it's, it's different from the rest. We've had it doesn't 20, mean it doesn't belong. It doesn't belong because we've had 23 picks that are all in the spirit of the draft that we agreed to do. And then the last pick, you're like, fucking yogurt. What is wrong? 
the I like yogurt. I hey, would say that's the, of the things drafted. That's the one I eat the most. We're going to this is flashbacks back of peanut to peanut butter on crackers. Eleven a.m. Sweet snacks drafted with Clem has to be from the grocery store. I Can't didn't be. even draft graham crackers because I didn't think it was in, and I wanted to. I You're fucking going, listen, love graham graham crackers. We get it unless they're one of these guys veto because I'm not vetoing. I think you should veto. I'm not. You want to? I will, I'm not. Clem, no, can you speak? I'm not. Uh, it's one of those things I don't want to veto because it's like I, I it's like at this point it's it's writs on whatever, but it's it's not going to help your board at all. So it's like just just I know of that fighting it. So it's like let's just let's just let are we it do we uh, so can we leave it on the board just so we can shit hold on, on hold on, it? hold on hold it's on, such hold a on. fucking awful pick. It's not. I like it. I mean, sure you like it. That's not what I said. I didn't say you don't like it. I didn't say you just pick something that you dislike. I said it's a bad pick. It's an awful pick. It's the second to last pick. Is there ever such thing as a second? Like, I could have yeah, gone. Yeah, this draft, absolutely. Fuck I'd yeah, say. there's a lot I'd of say them. But he doesn't eat them, so. Yeah, That's okay, I could have gone. Back. I'll yeah. just throw it out there. I could have gone, like, the honey bun things. Like, those are fucking disgusting to me. I won't eat them. Sure. All right. Was the Ritz the second to last pick as well? I think so. I think it was. It's All the right. fucking trilogy, man. I'm telling you, we're just, we've been in this <laughs> thing for fucking months now. It's not a year. The, whatever the chip draft was. So this trilogy is, it's been a lot of twists and turns. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carl, Mr. Irrelevant. Well, there's only Don't one way. Don't you take a cookie? Don't you take a fucking cookie, Carl? Well, I got a, I got a little something for you. There's only one way for me to win this draft right now, and that's to take something that grabs the attention when you're looking at the graphic. I really got to get somebody's attention here, and I got to make them go, "Holy fuck!" At 25, uh, there's better cookies, there's better <laughs> snacks, but there isn't a know, snack that can do. get that can get the attention that I'm about to get. I'm gonna take Dunkaroos. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take the Dunkaroos. But I'm going to appeal to people's nostalgia here. I mean, functionally, they're fine. They're okay. They're okay. But I think it's a very good pick. Having the having the chocolate frosting there to scoop your fingers in and out, like that was a that was an evolution thing where you could just kind of you're like, ooh, I don't even want to. Why do I not remember the chocolate frosting? But anyway, yeah, good pick. I think it's a good pick. Nostalgia. The revival wasn't as good though, right, Clem? Or am I crazy? Yeah, yeah, no, the the revival wasn't as good. I had it, uh, it and I was it was in my. Uh, it was on my list for the same kind of thing as if I want to kind of drop a hammer here, I go with the Dunkaroos as well. So I, I respect the pick for the same reasons. And it is it is one of the things that I think when you're younger, you remember it fondly. It might have been better when it was when we were younger too. I don't know. But there was something about are you a guy that is just a savage that eats all the frosting and two cookies? Do you like to budget it out? Do you not even finish it all the way and then you're just scooping with your finger like a savage? That's kind of as much the Dunkaroo experience as actually eating it, right? Cult following, though. A lot of people are going to be happy with this. Um, all right, I'm going to read them off. We'll do honorable mentions. We'll hear Clem's chief board, and we'll get out of here because we got a meeting. Uh, Chiefs, Oreos, Double Stuff, Keebler's Fudge Stripe Cookies, Pepperidge Farm Chocolate Chip Cookie, Entenmann's Little Bites Brownie, uh, Biscoff Cookies, Eddie, Entenmann's Donuts Rich Frosted, Little Debbie's Oatmeal Cream Pie, Pop-Tarts, Brown Sugar Cinnamon Frosted, Hostess Twinkie, Chips Ahoy Original. Clem. Little Debbie Christmas Tree Cake, uh, Drake Funny Bone, Hostess Cupcake, Rice Krispie Treat, Rainbow Cookie. White Sox Dave, Entenmann's Little Bites, Blueberry, uh, Little Debbie Nutty Bar, Little Debbie Zebra Cape, Cake, uh, Mrs. Fields Cookie, Chocolate Chip, Yoplait Plate Yogurt, Strawberry Banana. Carl, Tate's Bake Shop, Oreos Classic, Chips Ahoy Chewy, Pepperidge Farms, Milano's Double Chocolate, Dunkaroos. Uh, Clem, give us that chief board. All right, Chief Board, this is going to come off slanderous. Can now. I guess one of, of them? Did you put fucking these have been Fig drafted, Newton so yeah, next to my name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fig Newton, ding, ding, ding. I fucking hate <laughs> yes. you. I fucking yeah. hate you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to guess any more? Those make that's, your fucking That's all I got. Like do, you ever, do you know how uh, fig plants are uh, grown? It's disgusting. I, is it I blogged in, it. Egypt or I blogged it. I will say, like, NSFW, you could watch it. it you'll never eat a fig. I didn't exactly. eat a Fig Newton for, like, five years. I, I don't eat figs. They're disgusting. Fig Newtons. Yeah. Yes. All right, keep Going. Was That's it growing only, shit like shrooms? Maybe or you don't. You don't want to know. Keep, Anybody else want to take a guess on the chief board? Because that was that was. A, and fig newtons are good. I don't want to slander them. They're I, I like think they're vanilla good. Like wafers. I'll say the animal cracker, the box, the animal cracker box with the animal string crackers. On it. I I was right. close to taking animal crackers. The frost those are good. Uh, what about snack wells? Snack wells hit that. <laughs> snack wells would have been a good one. Like the devil's what about vanilla wafers? Wells. Like well, the church, uh, Nella, Nella's, Nella's on there. Oh, Nella, I hate Nella's. I didn't even think of that. What um, about Lorna Dune or Lorna? Lorna Dune. Ding! I've never heard of that. I don't know what that is either. It's a shortbread cookie. Like them. I don't like Very shortbread. Very good texture, uh, and they print them nicely. Like they could, the texture comes over. There's a nice intricate stamp on each cookie. 
Never had it. Let me ask you guys a question. If I would take the yogurt, finish, finish, finish the, yeah. oh, how many? I thought he was throwing. I thought he said three. Uh, you got two more uh, graham crackers. Which would, again, I, graham I, crackers is an underrated fucking just a good snack. It's a cracker. It says cracker, but I consider it a cookie. Um, it's kind of the it's a hybrid player. Right? I it's love graham bag. crackers, and I would have taken it, but I thought it wasn't in the spirit of what we were doing, so I didn't. Okay, and if you ever get graham crackers with some cinnamon on it, cinnamon is just a hack of life, man. You put cinnamon on cereal, dunk those cracker, or uh, cookies, just makes it that much better. And last one, this was kind of again. When I'm saying this stuff to Carl about Cates as a chief pick because it's a fancy pick, I'm saying it for I truly believe that. And I think Chief, I could see him waxing poetic about how his grandparents used to get him Malamars when he was a kid. You could only get them at the end of the season, right around Christmas time. And it's because they would only be able to ship them in when the I think the trucks or the trains were cold enough. So Malamars was my other chief pick. I thought he'd have like a you little could get a story. Unit. I've never heard of that. I've never heard Tony of that. Soprano. Malamar. I don't Malamar, know what that is. Yeah. Uh, my honorable honorable mention was Vienna Fingers, which is just like an Oreo, but it's like the all tuxedo. vanilla. All vanilla. Uh, the one that, that was I was my six for the cheap board. The one that I was very close to taking was uh, Nutter Butters. I like those peanut butter ones. Yeah, those are very good cookies. I think, and that would have yeah. been a nice pick in the fifth round oh, as well. Yeah. I don't Wait. like peanut butter cookies. Really, for some I like those I like a lot. Peanut butter. I like we're cookies. We're gonna get roasted for no cosmic brownie. I would assume. I think Cosmic Brownies mm -hmm. suck. We yeah. had them in the kitchen for a while. They're so dense and just like. I think they're um, overrated too. That's why it's not a real thing. Yeah. Uh, Famous Amos cookies are good. What? Uh, you never had Famous Amos? I'm not, you mean they're good? Yeah. They're available in vending machines. Is that what you mean to say? Good? Yeah, they're good. Yeah. They're fine. I, I like them. Okay. Uh, Pepperidge Farm, I think Brussels are better. Brussels are better, but Milano's have, have more like punch to me. Okay. What does that mean? Like, I think Brussels are a more enjoyable, mm, wow, that's a soft, sweet, delicious cookie. It sits on the bottom of the fucking roster. I'd much rather pound through a bag. I'd much rather have a bag of Milano's at my side. But a Brussels, very tasty. Nice touch. The ho-ho. Does that not make sense to anybody else? Like You I say that, one's better, but you'd rather have the other one? How yeah. does that make sense? So we're, drafting a fucking, we're drafting a team of cookies to compete against, or sweet snacks, which will then compete against each other in the arena. I'm not putting Brussels on that fucking roster. <laughs> Brussels Why is happy if, to be in the conversation better. of honorable mention. But if you like it, if you think it's a I better I think a Lofthouse cookie, cookie is, is the best bite in cookies. And Lofthouse is on the honorable mention because it's a fucking sugar cookie. Because it's there. Like a Brussels, have you held a Brussels in your hand? No. Yeah, but. exactly. Clem, do you know the cookie we're talking about? Clem, do you have any, any honorable mentions? I got a million. I know we have a meeting here in a minute, so I'll just kind of run through them. Uh, the black and white cookie, kind of like the Joey's you can get. I think those um, black and white's right below rainbow in my rankings. Archway Dutch cocoa cookies. I fucking love them. They're nice and soft. They're incredible. I just didn't know if they fit on my board. Uh, Popham's. The donut holes by Entenmann's. Mm -hmm. I could have went dickhead and tried to slime you there by taking the rich frosted or even the sprinkles, which are delightful. Uh, Yodels. Ringdings, I believe those are both trade cakes. You probably have no idea what those are. Devil dogs, way too dry, but they're they deserve a little bit of a, a tip of the cap. Drinks, coffee cakes, also incredible. Strawberry frosted pop tart. Eddie kind of talked about the pop tarts earlier. Girl Scout That's cookies didn't know if they would count for this draft, so I didn't touch them. Samoa's tag along Thin Mints. Santa will be selling them next year. Uh, Royal Dance cookies, they're the ones that always have the um, sewing kits. They have like the pretzel shape. You know what I'm talking about? They're like the blue tin. Wait, it's oh now. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. The, and then yeah. everyone's mom just puts their sewing stuff in there. It's yep. one of those weird things. Like buttons uh, and shit. Yeah. Yep. Teddy Grahams are actually one of those snacks I don't remember liking much as a kid, but I had them older with I've the drafted kids. them I actually before. Them a lot more. I, got, I yes. drafted <laughs> them previously and got roasted That's for it, but I think Teddy did. Grahams are great. Um, I'll climb, taste. Sorry to interrupt you, but this is like you're reenacting the Joe Dirt fireworks scene with snacks, and it's beautiful. <laughs> sorry. Continue. <laughs> uh, tasty Cake, just because I know those scumbags from Philly would be mad if we didn't mention them. And Sandy's just because me and Eddie ripped out KFC's heart when I pulled that one out of the fucking blue. I don't even like those scan those cookies. They beautiful. Suck, but uh, how to do that. Beautiful. Um, all right, guys. Clem, thank you. It was fun as always. You're the best. Even though you I slandered me at the beginning and at the end, I I love having you on the show, Clem. Egg on my face. I was 0 for 5 on the Chief stuff, but I like that everyone guessed a good chunk of them. Um, and the trilogy's complete, boys. Now we can look forward to the next trilogy. Yep, the next trilogy. It'll be here as, uh, sooner than you know it. So <laughs> thanks again, Clem. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. We will see you then.